<laughs> You're live. I am alive. Oh. Hey, everybody. Howdy. Hey, yo. How y'all's doing? We're early. We thought, oh, we'll just, you know, jump Since on. Since all you early birds in here, we thought we'd just come in and start chit chat with all y'all. Be BSing with We're everybody, early. right? Turn it down. I we don't need the it. feedback. Oh my goodness. I give you feedback. You get caught up on everything. Hey everybody, how's your Friday night? It's already April 9th. Isn't that something? Yeah. One week down of April already. It's a huge delay. Watch myself in the camera. Or in well, the... stop waving. You're... I can't. Stop. It's stuck. Oh my gosh, I'm going to cover this so you can't do that. Rude. All right, look, just go down there. It's already open. Oh. Learn how to internet. I'm going to teach you with something. And then you can hit the little button and it'll make it full size. I know, but I'm just going to cover that so I don't... You can even hit control plus and it'll make your text bigger. There. Now I don't have to see you. Oh. Now you're just going to have to look at me. <sighs> you're so <Right>. tardy. <laughs> I'll just sit here and play with my meat. I know. So, how's everybody doing? How was your day? Everybody, um, who all has already eaten? Who's still waiting? Who's I'm cooking? Still waiting. <laughs> we know. Renee said, "Me first, me first. Lisa said, "Darn it!" Hey, 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 Lori, welcome back. Uh, oh, and Lisa, I saw your yummy dinner. Of course, you know that, but it looked so good. She made Joe's. From two crazy ketos, coleslaw. Did you see oh, the picture? Oh, I guess I missed that part. Oh. I was trying so hard to get everything done so we get over here. It looked really good. I Ribs messed up so and spent good. too much time watching my programs. You're wrestling? Yeah, my stories. Because I'm about, I don't know, four or five months behind on everything. Oh, Renee's coming home from work. Stephanie's here. Hey, Stephanie. Hello. And Jimmy, if he's here. Hello. Uh, oh, she said, Jimmy got off, then we had to run by Mama's, the post office, the pharmacy, thrift store, got us some clothes. Why didn't and you drive? Wouldn't it be gadget. quicker than running? Anyhow, what new kitchen gadget? I need to know what gadgets. And what is, everybody that's here, what's your favorite kitchen gadget? I've got a $20 Target gift card that's burning a hole in my pocket. You know, I need I ideas. what we should have done set up to do tonight? What? Carnivore muffins would go perfect with this. Perfect. On uh, Stephanie's little. But program. we're having ice cream. Perfect. I can have both. No. Because that ice cream's for after dinner, not during. Unless you're eight. Excuse me. Unless oh, Steph uh, said eight. next week they're gonna do the DDPY. Wow, that's oh, awesome, nice. Steph. Oh, yay! Wait. Where are you, you know gonna what? start? Yeah, are you start with like staying strong, or the chair, or just the regular. Um, we're still doing staying strong, but this you know what'd be stuff. cool is uh, Shauna and Steph and Jimmy. Are, if we could all like zoom together and have like a live <sighs> zoom, <laughs> imagine how funny that would be. Uh, Bang! <laughs> right? She don't know what that means yet. I know. Uh, Renee said, "In the car, Bluetooth in, y'all. Awesome, Renee." What do they call it? Ear hustling. Yeah, your ear hustling. That's the lingo. See, when, when you watch Anna, you find all the new lingo for everything. I'm so proud of her, too, getting her oh. stuff all around. Because she's like simulcast on all the platforms now at the same time. Well, why aren't we? Why haven't you how. figured it out? Because I don't know how. I just now figured out how to do uh, the alerts, the schedules. I can barely tie my shoes. You'd be nice. I'm just saying, you should, you should find out and get it done. Yeah. Uh, right. Steph said it makes a casserole, but I'm gonna try a pizza. Uh huh. In it. Oh, well, it makes a cat. Well, what is it? She goes. Oh, the chair with my stupid ribs. Well, you know what? You'll find that you'll progress rather quickly. I think you could do standing strong even with your stupid ribs. I think it would work. Well, if you're not ready for the chair, he has. A, he even has a workout part where you can do it laying in bed. Well, yeah, I'm just but saying. she could do at least the chair. But you might find the chair a little um, repetitive. No, I was gonna say a little uh, slow to go with. Oh, we're still ten minutes early. Oh wow, we are! Look at that. We're having so much fun with our 
Hungry Horde. And so she sorry. said, oh, that would be cool to do a Zoom DDPY. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah, I don't know why I'm yawning. I'm oh, sorry. she said, nice wicked shirt, Heath. Throw all those man gowns away. Send me some money and I'll go buy some new stuff. <laughs> yeah, he only has... Four hey, wait, wait, wait. Tell you what. You we already you already know my address. You can just go to DXL and order me some shirts and send them to me. <laughs> Don't. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, so it's really that important. It's still expensive to get shirts because what are they, $30 each? Something like that. I think I got four of them for like 80 I think what it was. Oh, because they were on sale like buy one. But it's just the, um, like, even myself, I haven't bought any new clothes in uh, over a year because I feel like, well, like, especially him dropping weight so fast. I'm like, by September, when we go to Keto Palooza, you're probably going to be down at least another size. So why go and spend two, three hundred dollars? So people like her and Joe don't keep making fun of my shirts. Well, no, I think you've got four. And yeah, but there's seven good. days in a week, though. Well, yeah, but what did you do with your I lunch? I dropped something. You got his lunch. I'll save it for later. Oh, Jim's here. Hey, Jim. Howdy, howdy, howdy. And then she said, I'll take a picture of it in a bit. Okay. She goes, heck, with the chair, at least I may be able to stay out of trouble. Been in trouble at least a dozen times already this evening. Uh-oh. I thought you ran your house. How are you in trouble? <laughs> Steph said, hit the thrift store. Well, I don't want you. Well, no, I wouldn't mind. Because they're telling me to buy the underwear there, too. No, you can find it, but it's just... Here's the thing. He likes a tall shirt. So, like, his shirts are 3 XL T's. T-L. I want a tall, long. Right. And so, it's hard to find at thrift stores or yep. anywhere that specific tall, long. So, it's not like he's just getting... He just wants a 3X. I mean... I know usually for me, when I go to thrift stores, it's hard for me to find clothes. And then for him, it's like you just never find tall clothes at thrift stores. Because I'm real funny, too, because oh, like you know. where I'm sitting right now, the shirts that are too small for me, they start rolling up, and I start showing off my belly button. Yeah, if he just gets a regular 3X, they're just not long enough. He likes that extra length for him because he's got such a long torso. Oh, Shauna's here. Hey, Shauna. Welcome Howdy. back. I saw that you were having your Yoda drink. That uh -huh. looked good. We're going to be making the Keto Chow oh, Keto Lime and ice cream tonight. I'm thinking I'm so going to let you excited. take over. I'm just going to take a nap. No, you're not going to take a nap. Uh, Never. Why is it always no with you? Somebody said she's not trying to make fun of you. She's just saying that those big shirts hide all of the progress she's made. Okay. Maybe I could just like cut a strip in the back and sew it back together. That'll look fancy. <laughs> High uh, dollar. Steph said, hey, I bought stuff with tags still on them. Wow. But you're like a size four. You can find all kinds of stuff. You're like a... Uh, Rachel, and she just always finding all these cute clothes because she's, a, you know, such a tiny size. Jim says, well, got my Chantix today so I can kick these icy sticks to the curb. Oh, wow. What's Chantix? Oh, it's the, uh, the little doohickey or the pill, I don't know what it is, that helps you stop smoking, if I remember correctly. Oh, well, that's cool. Awesome, Jim. That'd be great. Oh. It's your turn. I got my, uh, uh... It's six till, though. You said for five till. It is five till. Your clock's wrong. Your clock's wrong. Uh, so, I think it was Jerry who said, hey, you should download Alexa. No. <laughs> so, I downloaded annoying. Alexa. You guys fight with it all day long. I don't fight with it all day. She's Alexa, just very, work! She's very moody on when she wants to actually work for me. So I'm just still learning how to get her to work because if my phone isn't on or if the app isn't open, all this stuff, it doesn't want to respond. Um, uh, Shauna said she could wear your old shirts as a, a dress. I know. That's what Stephanie was saying. Aww. And uh, Shauna makes fun of me for it, too. No, we're not making fun of Yeah, he fun does. He straight calls me out on it on his videos. <laughs> 
Uh, Shauna said... I You're going to skip that, that part. <laughs> Shauna said she made a pistachio and put in true lime and a shot of cher skinny cherry syrup syrup, syrup <laughs> in her uh, keto chow. That sounded... It looked good. I wonder if we're getting all these uh, in one Steph time. says she still buys two and three X shirts. Yeah. That's silly. That's then funny. you need to... And guess what, Steph? I'll make you a deal. You start wearing size-appropriate shirts, and so will he. Right? Yeah, I told somebody earlier today that we're probably going to go look for some new stuff this weekend. Oh, okay. That's the first time. Remember, I didn't do pants, too. My pants are too big now, too. I know. Uh, Steph says, pill, she's on them. Okay. Shauna said, if I can fit my girls in a large, extra large, you can. That's right, Shauna. You tell her. Steph said, yeah, I like Heath, though. Not comfortable if they can't move around real good. He don't have big old boobies. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Aw, Shawnee said, we love you, Hungry Heath. I love y'all, too. <laughs> and Steph just gave me a tongue. Uh, okay. You know, like sticking out her tongue. <laughs> All right. That'll show you. I know. She gonna get you. So we just thought, well, we're bored. We're already at the hotel again. So we just Peace. drop in, start early, chit chat with everybody till we decide to get started. <sighs> I'm sorry, folks. I don't know what happened. I was not doing this till we got here. <laughs> I'm trying. You didn't take your afternoon nap? No. That's what's wrong, I guess. Is the, it looks like. Is, the, is that our camera? It doesn't look as clear as it no. normally is, does it? Yeah. No, maybe it's my screen. I don't know. Well, refresh it and see what happens. Hmm. Is it, is, is it good for them, though? Oh, well, that was... How's the screen for everybody? Is our sound at all really good? Steph said, I'm in training bra. I found and bought some booby things for my bras today. Okay. okay. So how's the picture? How's the picture of the know sound? I chicken. Boobies. Yeah, how is the sound? Did y'all hear Delilah snoring over here? <laughs> Uh, Shauna said, it's too early to eat dinner for me. Yeah, because it's, what, 4 there, 4.30? Uh, so, having my fill in protein, some cottage cheese, and a delish strawberry kiss bang. You like oh, wow. those bangs? I think Stephanie drinks the bangs, too, Shauna. She said, pick mm. is a little grainy. Sound is great. It's good, but the picture is a bit wavy. Think it's YouTube, though. Yeah. Oh, Lori, she said, sound is good. All right. We have all the lights on in here. Yeah. I mean, the only thing we can do is grab that, get one like Nick had, or the, the, a spotlight on us, or bring one of those. I think it's the lighting. I don't know if it's the connection or. Let's see how it looks. It looks clear on the camera. Well, yeah, but we can't just spin that around. And let everybody watch that. Hey, everybody. Huh? Maybe it'll clear up a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, they, they turned off the overhead light on the, the, the stove. Turned it off or on? It's on right now. Oh, uh, it looks like it was on. Yeah, it's on. I wanted to clean the inside of the microwave. I tried to make a keto oh, chow the other day and I blew up the the butter inside the microwave. Oh, yeah. We were supposed to leave the door open this morning so they could see, and no, they did not. They didn't clean it at all? Nope. I swear, the clean people at this hotel. It's just hard to find good service. Shauna said, Friday night snore with Delilah. Right? <laughs> right? Steph said, I found some caffeine-free bangs. What's the point? Yeah, then does it, isn't that kind of like, I thought a bang was for energy. Uh, maybe she just likes the flavor. Yeah. Oh, is that why? I don't know. I, I've only tried the one and not my thing. But I got my coffee, my uh, nitro cold brew, black. And I forgot to bring my Zevias over. Oh. I ran out yesterday. Hey, Bright family's here. Hey, welcome. Howdy, howdy. Awesome. You gonna say hey yo to Brantley? Hey yo, Brantley. <laughs> How is little Brantley? 
Seth said, yeah, refresh it don't help. I think YouTube just wants people to buy their upgrade. Yeah, no. I don't know. It could be the connection. I've been having some, like, sometimes it's Alexa rough. will say she doesn't want to work. So yeah. I think maybe the connection's not as strong. I really want to start cooking, but I think it's still too early, though. Oh, Jerry's here. Hey, Jerry. Welcome hey, aboard. Patty. Shana Hi, said, everybody. I did buy some of those caffeine-free bangs for at night when I want some flavor. Oh, okay. Got to have the caffeine during the day, right? That's me. I got my... I start off my day with some coffee, and usually end my day with some coffee. Maybe so I there's... Some, uh, maybe I need some caffeine so I can wake up. You want to sit? No, not that. <laughs> oh. You hate me? No. Um... There's like a Starbucks on the way to the hotel. It's just like, what, maybe a quarter of a mile from here? Yeah. So I just stopped in and got me a cold brew free. That's how much I go there. I had enough points for a free mm -hmm. one. Steph said, bangs don't affect me any either way. Doesn't do anything for me other than flavor. Okay. Oh, right, family said, we tried the caffeine free bangs. They are good. All right. Okay. Is video on low res? I don't think so. No? Did you click the button wrong? Me? Oh, Julie's here. Hey, Julie. Hello. Let's see. Uh, well, sorry, folks. We're still learning how to do all this. We're just fake it till you make it. Right? Let's see. Da -da -da -da. Settings. Uh. Good thing we got we got in here early. I'm saying, let's see, changes save. And I I plug my phone in so it doesn't die on us again. Um, doesn't say. Is there even an option for it? Let's see, video. I know this is so captivating. I know, right? This is must see TV. <laughs> so who else ate ribs today? Who's still trying to eat the ribs? Oh, Renee's back. Oh, boy. She said, had to stop for gas. Oh. Um, oh, right, Cameron said, Brantley's trying to show you that he learned to stick his tongue out. Nice. Oh. Let's see. What does it say here? I would keep talking, babe. I'm I nervous. am talking. I was trying to. I was sticking my tongue out at Brantley. Did you see me? It's delayed. Uh, that's what the delay okay. is? Probably. Uh. Close the captions. Oh. Yes. It's like the blind leading the blind because neither one of us doesn't really know what we're doing. <laughs> uh, at least I figured all this out. Right. It that's says cool. good connection. I don't know mm. why it's doing they that. Said it's on, they said it was all grainy though. Stream health. Uh, it says good. I wonder if it's something wrong. We gotta click on the computer on the. Well, there's good and there's excellent. Uh, the stream uh, current is lower than the recommended. We recommend you use a stream bit rate of 250. Well, how do I do that? Well, I wonder if it's something we need to click on the phone. Cause I'm not using an actual camera. I'm just using my camera phone. It's worked every other time, but hmm. uh, you know, I always got gremlins in my machines. Let's see. Do you know how much this was? Uh -uh. How much of this? No. Nope. Oh, we might have got it on sale. No, 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 no. How much? How many? How much meat? Oh, I have no idea. Where'd your scale go? Uh, over there. Okay. Sorry, y'all. I'm that it's so grainy. I don't know. I don't know if it's something we set up, but I can't find how to correct it. Some way we'll figure. She'll figure it out. It'll be my fault. Yeah. Well, of course. Uh, oh, Shauna said I ordered the caffeine-free candy apple crisp. Oh. Julie said, hey, are these short ribs like the kind at the Hawaiian barbecue? Yes. They, I think so. I mean, can you see that? Yeah. That's better. Because this one, this side, is a little grainy, grainy related. Stephanie said their ribs are almost ready. Jim so said, is... Lord, I've been working so so much, I feel so far behind on videos and miss watching. Oh, Jessica's here. Welcome back. Hi. So this is a little over five pounds worth of ribs. That's with the bump. Well, of course. 
But I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten little ribettes. Oh, nice. Shauna said she's going to make a ribeye close enough. That, say words, I thought I was going to put up the coffee rub from Easter. Oh, that's um, always good. But I'm going to dust it with equal parts salt, pepper, and garlic. And then I'm going to do a light dusting. Hey, Matreya's here. Hey. Ghost pepper salt to give it a little zing. And it does give a zing. And then I'm going to glaze it with my creamy tomato basil keto chow barbecue sauce. Yes. Uh, Shadow wants to know how the house construction is going. Slow. Um, our contractor got on to us the other day because he finished all the plumbing and uh, he wanted me to leave it running every day when we go back to the house. Leave like all I said, leave all the uh, lines open, you know, all the faucets, <laughs> the bathtubs, everything. Just leave them running all day while we're there. And we didn't do it the first three days, four days. But he, um, he had to disconnect our nice new uh, shower head and our master bathroom because it wouldn't work. The water wouldn't come out of it. And then we have a fancy uh, kitchen one. Kitchen faucet. Uh, it's all in one. It's a hose that you just hook on. It's like and you that. can move it around and you can flip the switch. You can either do the regular stream or you flip the other one and it's a spray nozzle. But it doesn't come out very fast. He said we're going to have to replace the whole thing. But I'm just, she's got a really good idea. Why don't we just go to the, the uh, Lowe's or Home Depot, take the piece with us and see if they can just replace just the end of it. We'll yeah, because I, I got some stuff just... I got to return anyways to Lowe's. It just needs like a filter replacement. Yeah, and like filter, he thought, that's what I'm looking for. Thank you. He did think the shower head was working. I think what it is is like none of this stuff had had any water or anything going in it for like over a month. Yeah. And I think it just needed, you know, like a little oiling up like we do. And so I just went in there after it set out and I just, you know, shook it, said, you're going to work for me. And I... You know, uh, put it back on, turned it on, and it started coming out. So I was like, okay, this it's good. We're going to make do with it. And then we had one plumber come out and look at everything to give us a bid. Yeah. And they said that they were going to replace all the horizontal pipes upstairs in the attic. Steph there were several breaks. YouTube, she thinks. Yeah. Oh, and Steph said, uh, she asked on the video, but did he fall in the waterfall? No. Uh, Julie said, all nighter and love those. Oh. Uh, oh, Jerry said, 10 ribbits. Is that seven for Heath and three for Shelly? Or vice versa. What? Well, because like when we go to Fogo, you usually out meet me. Oh, yeah. I can definitely out meet But, you. uh, so he changed. My, my, our guy that we have, uh, so, uh, my our buddy of mine, I don't know if I told y'all, but he, I've been friends with him for 20 years. He used to be one of my cabinet installers at an old job. Oh, oh. That's how we met. But, um. He changed out all the horizontal pipes in the attic, and then he even... Well, he repaired all the horizontal yeah. pipes, and he might have to repair some vertical pipes. And then he noticed, too, that, that we didn't have a little drip pan underneath our water heater. So we okay. added that. Then he added a little drain line and put it through the wall for us so it didn't drain in. If it did leak, it didn't leak into our... Uh, into a garage it actually leaks outside the, uh, on the side of the house yeah so that was really cool so we get into that let's catch up real quick right. uh matreya well, so, so i was telling yeah i was working extra today and wound up not being able to make my ribs may smoke them tomorrow instead of burgers oh. um i make burgers oh i'm burgers. so excited about the burgers we're gonna make tomorrow oh and jim said i worked at a store oops um uh, that had a kitchen I was in charge of, and we served fried short ribs. Yes. I've okay. heard of that. Shawnee said, oh, i got to take out my burgers. Going to barbecue at Mom's thinking stuffed bacon cheddar burgers. That sounds good. That does. Steph said, we're going to play putt-putt golf on an indoor place, and of course is black lights. Oh, wow, nice. that will be fun. Going to try to eat when we get done and with date day. Woo. Mm -hmm. Oh, TC's Life's here. Hey, Hello. welcome back. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Shauna said, Friday nights are one of my favorite nights of the week now. Mine Aww, too. Thank, thank you. I've been looking forward to this all week. 
Me too. It sure helps the week go by. Yeah. Like I, I kind of like, oh, okay. Like it's no longer, oh, today's Wednesday or Thursday. It's like, oh, tonight's today's watch autumn. Today's keto chat. Right. Today's uh, two crazy ketos. Like that's how I see my days of the week. Yeah. <laughs> and then today's our life. Right. Well, okay. Tomorrow's chores. We're gonna go shopping. Right. Oh. And then Sunday we're gonna do meal preps. It's like. We're busy every day. I know. But Trey said, I do love burgers. Maybe I have to skip my keto chow for once and have ribs, burgers, and eggs. I would do that. That sounds awesome. I just have my keto chow with my meal. Or I have it afterwards. I have a couple of sips off as a yeah. dessert. Like tonight, we're going to make the key lime ice cream. Oh, Who I'm all so has tried the key lime flavor? Who wants to try it? What do you I think try of it? it? Yeah, we're going to try it tonight. You want to start getting started, shall we? Start getting started. Yeah, yeah that's what we're going to do. Okay. You want to get started? You want to get started on getting started? I'm going to, oh. Well, take a vote. Do they want us to start? Yeah, of course they do. Or they, they want to sit here and watch me yawn? <laughs> they want you to start, so you stop yawning. Uh, I can only crave as so much food in. <laughs> that's what Trace said. Right? Well, that's why the drink, you know? Yeah. All right. Ooh. All right. First thing you're gonna do is turn this on. Yes. On medium. Yeah. yeah. This thing. Medium will be plenty hot. So he's going to. What are you starting off doing? I am gonna open these ribs, and then I'm gonna season them, and then I'm gonna sear them. I don't know why I'm just so stuttering. You're gonna sear them. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm telling you. Where are the scissors? Right there. Ooh. And we gotta be uh, uh we gotta be careful tonight. And we're gonna have to turn the vent fan on so we don't set off the smoke alarm again because I hate having to climb up there and turn it off. No, we don't want that. Because i I almost fell the other day doing it. So these are some ribs we've actually had in the freezer for a while, and so it worked out perfect. Let's tell them exactly. It's dated 5-17-20. <laughs> so almost a year. <laughs> oh, Jim said, Heath, I need to call you one day this weekend to talk about Austin. Oh, the May 1st? Okay. All right, so how are you going to... They smell good? Yeah. Oh. I'm going to wait for the pan to heat up. And then I'm just going to grab one each individually. You're seeing all this? Yeah. And I'm just going to dust it. And put it in the pan? Yeah. Okay. It's going to take a minute. Yeah. That's fine. Show off some of those good looking ribs. Alrighty. And I'll chit chat with everybody. Look how thick these things are. Oh, you know what we should have brought over here to make it really nice when we're done eating? Huh. Some of them, uh... Wet naps. Oh, we bought a yeah. big stack of them, the big box of them from Costco, and they were coming so handy. Steph says she's dying to get her hands on some key lime keto chow. Did you order the, uh, are you a club, a chow club member? No. Bright family said Elizabeth has a virtual tour with Baylor University. Oh, wow, that's awesome. at Waco. That's so cool. I was accepted to Baylor, oh, but I couldn't nice. afford it. <laughs> this is awesome. Look how small, can you see in this? Look how small the bone is on this. That means that's all yeah, meat. you're way low. Look at the camera, babe. Just kind of go behind. There you go. Down a little. There you go. Closer to the camera. Perfect. Yeah, this is awesome. Wow, is she excited about Baylor? I thought it was an awesome college. I would have loved to have gone. And good luck to her. I hope she enjoys whoa, whoa. it. Uh-oh, what's my husband doing? I almost knocked over the seasoning. Uh, oh, Jerry said, love me this some key lime. I'm hoarding it until it's general release. Right? Uh, you get three samples. You got to make that last. But how many? Yeah, three? Because you were also talking about one maybe this weekend or maybe next or whatever. Or maybe next Friday you can do it. Well, you said it takes too long. She was talking about making a key lime cheesecake. But how? why can't we do it on the live? You said because it takes... Because it takes... Uh, several hours. Okay, we can just saw show them what it turned out. <laughs> Julie said key lime is awesome. Shauna said I have. It's amazing. All right, I'm gonna start seasoning these. 
Okay. I don't know. Can you see that on the camera? Oh, Jessica said she's uh, searing her short ribs like you said to. Oh, nice. nice. Was it you that posted oh. about how oh. to do it? What did you do? You got a big whiff of all that pepper. Um, Jessica, were you the one? I can't remember. I saw shortly I was kind of working. Who asked in 2KK if she could use her air fryer or how to do it? And I saw that Heath had posted. <coughs> Woo! <coughs> wow! Yeah, is that a little little rich there for you, babe? Yeah. Let's see if I put it right there. So, okay, is that good for you, babe? It's good for me. Oh wow! I can already smell it. All that seasoning you poured. Well. Huh. Okay. Oh. Ah, Excuse me. Sorry about that. Elise is back. Well, I have so much uh, salt and pepper already in the pan. I'm just going to roll it around in the pan. Yeah. Jerry said he had one key lime and loved it, but it's not Patty's favorite. Matreya said I used one of my key limes. I made half of the ice cream and half of the custard. Which did you like better? <coughs> Oh, I'm still mad over here. I know. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm going to have to, hold on. I'm going to have to turn this on. Oh, we'll put it on low, then. I am. They might not be able to hear this. That's what I was trying to say. But where's the button? I'm not, I, I don't know this kitchen. This. Hi. <coughs> that's low. Okay. Uh, Matrice said it's not her favorite. Lisa. Said, I'm having some internet issues, so I'll probably be bouncy back and forth. That's fine. Are those short ribs? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Can you see them? Memory, uh, member now. Yes. This good, babe? Yeah. Jim said, "Oh wow, they're going to be so good." I hope so. TT Life said, "I've never done beef ribs. Do they always come cut like that?" No, I've got the big. We, this is only the second time I ever, oh, I'm sorry, this is only the first time I ever cooked short ribs, and I've cooked the big dinosaur ribs, uh, yeah. smoked them, I have a video up on those. Yeah, so you either do them, like, if you think of, like, pork ribs, where it's a big slab, you can either do that, or they'll cut up this way for what they call short ribs. Lisa said she's dying to try the key lime and the peaches and cream. You need the PNC, Lisa? What do you need there? I'm running out of room in the pan. Oh, yeah. So I'm just going to season them and have them already sitting on this little plate. Uh, Shana said, did you put those in one of those vacuum sealed that Yes, we yes. have a food saver. And y'all yeah. let me know if you can't hear me. Because I know the bit's on. So let but us I don't want to set that alarm off. Right. Let us know if you can't hear. Uh, okay, so I read that. So, yeah, Shauna, we have a vacuum seal, and I'm telling you, it is well worth the money. And also, at Costco, they'll sell the bag and the uh, rolls, and so I'll get that at Costco, and I love it. Like, especially a lot of times our H-E-B and definitely Kroger will have discount meats, and then you can just buy it, and then, you know, because I'm like, well, then we just go home, throw it in the food saver, and here it is a year later. <laughs> Renee said, but your lives take several hours. Yes, I know. I know the food saver bags, you can buy the ones that are already pre-cut, set up, or you buy a whole roll is what we have, and uh, you, you make them whatever size you want. Yeah, I like that. Oh, yeah, it was Jessica. Yay! And then we also have the one where you can reuse it as a little suction cup thing on it. Yeah, I like that too. Um, Shauna said, I tried to cook everything in my air fryer except my ice cream, right? Fried Dad's ice here. cream though, it was good. Dad's here, hey Dad. I don't know if I showed y'all. Let me know if this is on camera, babe. But I'm dusting it also with this ghost pepper salt to give it a little yeah, zing. that's good. Oh, everybody told you, bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Matreya said, warm custard. Oh, that is good. Oh, wow, right 
family got a double yolk egg just now. Lucky, you better buy a lotto ticket. <laughs> to me, that's like winning a small lottery, right? Yes. <laughs> Lisa said she's never had short ribs before. You um, what, did you, them? what did you think of them, Lisa? Yours looks really good, so tell me what you thought of how they were. Oh, Jennifer's here. Hey, Jennifer. I'll be, I'll be right back. I'm going to blow my nose again. Jerry says, I love my food saver. Yeah. Uh, just bought more 8x12 from Amazon. Wow, $25. That's awesome, Jerry. Is that garlic, salt, and pepper in that mix? Yes, Shauna. So what he put on first by season is equal parts garlic, salt, and pepper. It's kind of like our, our go-to seasoning. It's my AP seasoning. Uh, and then... I've come up, yeah, that's good. I've come up with another season where we've been talking about one, and so we'll probably do a video on it, but I think it's going to be really good seasoning blend that I've, uh, we've been oh, talking about. Oh, you're seeing that? Make it. So, uh, Lisa said, yeah, Shelly, that PNC. Oh, that's perfect. The camera's perfect on that. Uh, let's see. Jerry said, I have a commercial back sealer, but it's still in a box because I don't have room to put it on the cart. I can use generic three mil bags, which are a couple pennies per bag. Better for wet items. Oh, nice. That's pretty cool. Lisa said, Costco is going to have the saver bags on sale here in a couple days. Oh. Well, maybe we should load up then. we got to go to Costco anyways tomorrow. Yeah. We need more topo and we need more bottled water. I'm still scared to drink the water at the house. But I've been drinking it for my coffee every day. Yeah, but it's already ruined with coffee, so you're okay. Whatever. Johnny said ghost pepper salt would be a zap, not a zing in my mouth. Oh, Pan's here. Welcome, Pan. So I'm starting to burn. Starting, starting to brown these up. Yeah, that's good. Yum. It's smelling good, you guys. Jennifer said... Hey, you guys should do a cookbook. Well, guess what, Jennifer? I've been working on one for a couple months now, um, and we were actually talking about it today. It's just busy, like, you know, because I work a full-time job, so trying to, you know, get everything and do all of the pictures. And, and there's a couple other recipes I want to do. I need to cook and make pictures for and everything. But I want to wait till I have I'm back in the house so I can do it easier. Because a lot of it is smoky. Yeah, uh, but uh, we were talking about on the way over here about the cookbook because I'm probably at least fifty percent through it. Uh, it just needs a few more recipes, some finishing touches. But we were thinking uh, we're going to find a way with all of the recipes because we have like appetizers main entrees, desserts, and then all of our, like, uh, accoutrements, like sauces. meats and sauces. I was going to try to do also, and tell me if you think this is a good idea, like, make a, at the end of the cookbook, have, like, a meal plan. Like, here's, using all of these recipes, here's meal, uh, here's week one, here's week two, um, and here's your grocery list for that week. And you think that's a good idea, or is that... I think it's awesome. Like, with people do that? Would you use that if I included it? Uh, oh, Jennifer said, yay, she'll be purchasing. Awesome. All right, I got a question for y'all, too. Let's take a vote. Okay. I've been kicking around the idea of starting up, or of finalizing. I've already set it up, but I just haven't finalized it, of doing a Patreon account. And I want to do a five, ten, and a twenty-five dollar level. The five dollar level, your reward will be my undying gratitude. The ten dollar, you'll get free access or, or exclusive access to the blooper reels when we're doing our filming. No. And the twenty-five dollar level, I'll send out monthly recipe cards and a little bag of my. Spice and seasoning blends. Tell yeah. let me know. Yeah, give us some feedback. Because uh, he's been talking to a few people about it and, you know, giving him, like, telling us, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that. And, uh, 
you know, it's just kind of like, I mean, we've never done this. We just enjoyed cooking and thought, well, we'll just share what we love doing. I mean, we've been cooking for years now. We used to, he would write everything up like on a blog. If y'all want to read some of my old recipes, you can just go to hungerheath.com, and that's my blog, and it's all the travels, too. Yeah. When we went on the cruises and stuff. So we used to always write everything and always talk about cooking, and but he was always real hesitant to ever do YouTube because he's like, I can't be on camera, and it took me, like, I had to keep pushing him. I was like, but you'll be good. And I said, and you love to cook, so people want to see this. They want to hear your cooking. Uh, Matrona said, yes, I think the meal planning is a good idea. Thank you. Shauna said, woohoo, yes. Renee said, glad you adjusted the prices. I get lots of extra of y'all's bloopers. <laughs> Do I know? Uh, oh, the bloopers. Well, She's looking forward to them? Well, I have to definitely make sure it's on, uh, on the Patreon because uh, it would probably some of them would not be acceptable on YouTube. Yes, <laughs> NSFW. Uh, Shauna said, that's a great idea. Wild Turkey Bluff. Oh, welcome, Wild Turkey. Can they can they see this? Uh, Are you zoomed in all right? No, I'm just on the skillet. All right, well, I'll show them this next part. Oh, okay. But a Wild Turkey said, no Patreon for all COVID broke. Oh, I understand. Us too. And you're not, nobody has to do any of it. Yeah, yeah it's not required. Yeah, we'll still be putting out our YouTube. And believe me, that helps a lot. Just coming and joining on our lives and watching our videos and commenting and liking the videos. That's just awesome. Just some other people have asked us for the Patreon, and that's why we were thinking about offering it. So what I'm going to do now, you, you got it? Yeah. We put this in foil, and I'm going to add a big heaping spoonful of this Chef Chamois butter. Oh, wow. Well, just put it right here in the center. Nice. Then I'm going to fold it up. I may need to put another piece with it. Yeah. We did, this is not the good. We bought, um, <laughs> the HEB was running a special on these guys. It was Kroger. Or Kroger, okay. But they were 10 for 10. I was like, well, why not? We'll just use more of them. Because I usually buy the giant rolls so I can use it for, you know, doing stuff. Yeah, because we're COVID broke too, so, you know, you're like, oh, 10 for 10, we'll do that. Of course. Yeah, you need help? No. Alright. Oh, stay together. Don't run away from me. Oh, that smells so good, babe. Okay, now what? I pulled the liner off of here, so now I'm just going to stack it in the tray. And we'll finish this other set and we'll put them in there together and then I'll put it close it. Okay. Is there going to be room? Yeah, I'll make room. Oh, I bet you will. All right. I'm going to put this back Ooh, right there. Yeah, sure. You tell, you ask them if that's good for them. Yeah, is that good? Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. TV Live, she goes, are you doing a cookbook as an ebook? Yes. That's the plan. Um, one of the, um, I guess you'd say publishers that I've been talking to, they have a way where we could offer it both ways. Like they would distribute it to like Amazon, uh, Apple's uh, product, and uh, a couple others that they would be able to distribute to. And so. People have had the choice between an ebook or an actual book. Shauna said, I'll do Patreon for y'all. Absolutely. And Lisa said, Oh, y'all are so nice. Thank you. And again, it's not required. It's totally optional. We're not asking anybody to do it. It's just, we thought, so in Texas, the way the cottage rules work is uh, like we can't just you know, bottle up our seasoning mix. Or sauces. Yeah, in our home, right? But if, we, if we're if we just giving it away as a gift, then we can. 
Yeah, if so, I wanted to try and sell it, I need a commercial kitchen to make it in. Right. So if we just, you know, make it in our kitchen, of course, sanitize everything before we do it, make sure we have clean. And yeah, I'll even do a video stuff. the first time or the yeah. first time we're making it to show y'all how sanitary it is too. Right. But it's just that we thought well that would be kind of a way if of course our recipes are of course filmed, so if you uh, want to make it yourself, you don't have to be a patron to get it. You can just make it yourself. Oh. I think you need to bend the other bag over a little, the first foil package. I gotta play Jenga. <laughs> uh, uh, Matrina said, I totally get not safe for work. My boss saw my cyclic bike accident upload and called me to tease me about the swearing. Oh. There. I just, I guess I've made a fit now. Okay, good. Shana said, I'm looking at food savers. Anyone know if compact or regular size makes a difference? I don't know. Ooh, I think it made me down one more. But how? Oh. Because well, it goes in the tray. Only thing I can do... Yeah, just take it out and put it on the bottom rack. Like so? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there you go. This is going to be fun to clean later. Oh, yeah. Hold on, I just want to wash my hands real quick. Yeah, Matreya, are you okay? When was the bike accident? Yeah. Shauna said, I was blessed with COVID hazard pay because my job. So thankful. That is nice. That's good. Matrice said, it was last year. Some fleet wasn't paying attention and hit me. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's man. awful. Uh, Renee said, I COVID broke and Medicare cuts killed health care employees broke. I get it. Oh, I know. It's been hard for everybody. And then our last employer messed up on my taxes. Yeah. Matrina said, oh man, those ribs look great. Thank you. She now, said, uh -huh. I'm going to dial it in at 350. And then, in, oh, wait, I'm going to make sure I'm actually on the air fry function. Warm broil, broil, toast, bake, air break, air fry. So now I'm going to set it for 30 minutes. And y'all get to just watch this. <laughs> uh, now I'm going to spin yeah, it around so y'all can see Shelly. We'll go over there. And you. Well, I don't know. I might go take a nap. You're not going to take no nap. I think that's perfect right there. Yeah, you can see me? Yeah, perfectly. You can see yourself? Yeah, okay. not yet. Oh, Matreya said, yeah, in Ohio, we can't have home cook licenses if you have a pet. Oh, wow. Um, now, they do. I can go sell the stuff. Well, I'm going to come sit down and then I'll tell you. Yeah, and then Jessica said, based off how much... Butter you added. I so did not add enough butter. <laughs> well, you know, butter there's always a butter. little extra with butter. I, I learned a lot from Paula Dean. <laughs> well, well, where, why are you not? Oh, you covered it with the chat. My bad. Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, I want to make sure I'm not cool. But uh, no, I, we can sell the stuff if we go do it like at a um, at a farmer's market yeah. or something like that, or like at the church, local only. But I can't sell it online or uh, across home state lines. Or, yeah, that too. Yeah, so that's the thing because we looked into it uh, a few years ago. He wanted to really you know, start selling his barbecue sauce and rubs and stuff. Because every year, my, I got family members that hit me up and tell me that that's what they want for from us for Christmas is my my, uh, my seasoning blends and our uh, my, uh, my barbecue sauce. Yeah. Like, that's what they ask for Christmas, for gifts, and birthdays, too. They're like, oh, just make me your sauce, or, oh, I need some more of the rub. I've already gone through it. And or my nieces and nephews will call me and tell me they want uh, beef jerky. Yeah, because we'll make uh, homemade beef jerky for everybody. In fact, uh, I was looking through our memories yesterday, and we made, uh, two years ago, three different flavors of yeah. beef jerky. Remember that? Yeah. Like we did one that was um, the taco seasoning. One was your barbecue the seasoning. The Chacharis, what has that, how's Jeff's call it? <laughs> Kacharis? Kacharis. Tony Shacharis. And then we also did, it was like tequila or something. Yeah, the Do you remember? Yeah. Yeah, but they love that. I mean, I love the jerky too. It's and really good. And I went good. a little bougie and gave them the resellable uh, uh, Ziploc, the food saver. <laughs> Right? Box. It didn't matter because 
that morning when they opened up the uh, that Christmas morning they opened it up, they ate the whole entire bag. Yeah, like it's I could so just family. Put it in a, yeah. They were just like, oh, this is so good. They ate that instead of what was prepared for Christmas dinner. <laughs> yeah, they loved that better than the brisket I smoked. But yeah, it's really good. Which finds our little leftovers. So my Trey said last year the so so said he didn't see my bike was neon orange and I was wearing my bright yellow jacket. A video showed he was on his phone. That is horrible. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know, people just, they need to pay attention when they're on the roads because that always like concerns me when I see somebody bicycling or um, walking. I'm like, oh goodness. Because sometimes like in our subdivision, yeah. I, some of these people, like their speed limit, right? But I swear some of those people are going at least double the speed limit. And I've had, because... They're trying to drag race down the main drag. They do. And so our house is at a corner. And we're the 14th the, Street back. Yeah, so by the time they get that halfway through, they're really barreling it. There's what, four stop signs? There's seven stop signs. Oh, okay. I've counted. <sighs> but anyways, our... So our house is actually at the corner of the main drag and our driveway is on the main drag. So sometimes when I'm coming to pull in, some of these people will just be right on your tail. And I had somebody one time, because I slowed down to pull, I had my signal on, but I was slowing down to pull into my driveway because I don't want to go 20 miles an hour into my driveway. And this lady pulled over and started cussing me out in front of her kid. She had like a, I don't know, seven or eight year old kid and started cussing me out because I slowed down to pull into my driveway. Yeah, because our driveway faces the main drag in and out of the neighborhood, right. but our front door faces the side street because like, yeah. we're on a corner. But yeah, some of these people, so now what I do is if somebody's just barreling right behind me, I just pull over to the side, let them pass. And then I go into my driveway. And what I hate too is since we're on the main drag coming in the neighborhood, I get people all the time Sorry. throwing their trash in our yard. It's so Coke cans, the, yes. the, 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 the drive through. Uh, you know. Did they not hear Don't Mess with Texas? What I hate too is uh, we have a median right in the middle, right, right across from our driveway. And yeah. people still walk their dogs through our yard to let them do their business instead of going up in the median. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, that's very neighborly. I know. Just put your stuff here in my yard. Yeah. Uh, now, okay. how, how old I sound now. I Get out my right. yard. Get off my yard. Wow, Bright Family said we would do the $25 Patreon. Nice. Wow. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Aw, Renee said she's financially broke, but she's rich in friends. Well, then you'll never be broke. Right? Uh, Stephanie said she feels the same way. And, oops, jumped a little. Sorry, y'all. Oh, Shauna said if y'all just adopt us, we'll be family and you can make us all the things. <laughs> well, then, okay. But then I kind of write you off on my taxes. Right? Yeah, can we do that? When do we need to start on the, the ice cream? About halfway through that. Well, do you want to do it over there or do you? Yeah. Do it? No, over there because the noise. All right. Shauna said, oh, I read that. Renee said, okay, so now Heath is being loaned out for rubs. For rubs? Oh, for rubs. I, I you watch your mouth, woman. I ain't leave, I'm not loading them out for rubs. Patricia said, sounds I'm, awesome. I'm going to put that butter up. What's wrong with me? Uh, which butter? Oh, yeah, the Chef Sammy. Uh, Renee said, hands-free is awesome, right? Oh, Wild Turkey Plus said they would buy a cookbook. What? Thank you. Well, in your honor, the next time I make my uh, my barbecue sauce, I'm going to use some wild turkey in it. Oh, that'd be good. Yum. Stan said, oh, Lord, Jimmy did su superb on his ribs. Ooh. Nice. So what did he do, Steph? Did you smoke them, did you say? Mm, right? I know I'm really hungry. You know what we should have brought? One of those little service trays over we use at the house a lot. It would have been easier to grab everything out and bring it over here. Oh, yeah. But I think we have enough stuff up here. Like you said the other day, it feels like we're moved here. I know. Renee said, I hate even having to use my touch screen for maps radio while driving. Oh, wow. Yeah, me too. I, 
give free is the way to go. Lisa said, I'm here planning out the next few meals for the challenge while watching y'all make some awesome food. What is Sunday? Thank you. Is it, uh... Like I said, I deleted it off my phone by accident. Well, I can't access it anymore. Use my phone right now. Yeah, is it Sunday the canned chicken? No? No, that's next Friday. Well, I don't know. Remind us, what is Sunday the 11th? Um, okay. Here. Uh, Matre said she has a special hand signal for aggressive people like that. Oh, really? I might be familiar with that hand signal. Here. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's the fried steak. Oh, yeah. For that day, we're making carne asada fries oh, with my yeah. uh, chocolate fries. That'll be good. All right. And, uh, wow. So what do you got planned, Lisa? Any hints? Renee said, yeah, tell them they're number one. Well, I just saw it on the other day. I'll just tell you how to read between the lines. <laughs> Steph said, did them on the indoor grill, was too tired to go back outdoors, right? Oh, and she said, flat steak, flake skirt, or hanger. Yeah, I saw somebody else post in the group, though, said they're just doing steak. Yeah, well, I mean, you do what you can. Oh, I was, was supposed to look in the deep freeze and, and find out that, that pieces for you to show you. I think we still have three flake steaks in there. I thought we ate them all. For fajitas. We'll, 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 yeah, we'll go look tomorrow. So what? Um, if not, we're gonna have to buy some. For those that are doing the meat challenge, what 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 meal have you made so far that's been your absolute favorite that maybe you wouldn't normally do and now you might start doing? Because I I, I've enjoyed this. It's been a lot of fun trying different things that we don't always make. Right. Like I mean. Obviously, short ribs. It's been a year since we had them. Well, I'm so. loving this too, also, because we're recording this every day. So it's making me create new content. So it's helping me a lot, anyways. <laughs> right? Oh, TC's Life said, I'm lazy today. I put corned beef brisket on the slow cooker so I don't have to uh, cook this weekend. I don't blame you. It's not a bad idea. You know, because, like, Saturday and Sunday is my only two days off, if you can say that. And I feel like Saturdays, we're always busy running around doing all of our errands, that it doesn't feel like a day off. And then tomorrow's going to be the Zoom. Oh, so yeah. Your 2KK like patrons tomorrow at 6 Eastern is the Zoom. Uh, Shana said, I'll have to go to Bevmo for whiskey for my. Oh, oh neat. Yeah, Lisa said, plank steak is Sunday. Oh, Steph's going to do gorditas. Nice. Oh, that sounds good. So are you going to make, like, the protein, like, pancake for the gordita part? When we do the fries, are we going to do my old, my, my original way, or with the jalapeno and the bacon bits in it? I think okay. that'd be awesome. Okay. carne asada. Wow. So we need to put jalapenos on our... No, no. Uh, yeah. you want raw ones? Because we have all the pickles. Yeah, I like that. Hey, okay. Alexa, add jalapenos to my shopping list. Right, the plank steak, too. Because we need also, when this is over, we're in the morning before we take off, we need to uh, look up that recipe again for the marinade. I forgot what it is now. Oh, okay. Shawnee said, will an airplane-sized bottle be enough? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's plenty. Because I only use I only use a shot. Yeah. Lisa said, oh, that sounds good, Heath. Uh, Right, family? She said, not cooking at all would be lazy. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that would be. So you're just getting it done. Oh, Stephanie said she will be spatchcocking chickens more. Your chicken looks really good. Yeah, That is did. such a quick and easy way of getting yeah. chicken done. Then, you know, the and then you work. get to season both sides of it, not just the outside. You can do the inside yes. as well. And then she did the bacon and the butter, oh, so yeah. you know that was really juicy. Johnny said pork chops with pork rinds and the apple pie keto chop. That was really good. Yeah, I, yeah, I really like that recipe, and it looked beautiful. I agree with you, Shawna. That's every day when you've been posting. That one is my favorite. <laughs> but Trace said, I don't know. It's been nice, but I miss my normal breakfast steak and eggs. 
keto chow dinner routine. Low effort, easy on the stomach. Yeah. Well, that is true, but I feel too it's kind of good to like challenge yourself every once in a while and do something different and then you go back to that and then kind of get your body kind of like, okay, there's something different for a little while. We used to be in a couple on this one uh, Facebook group. I don't remember what happened while we left. Or I think they closed it down. I don't know why. But, but this one girl in there used to post weekly a food challenge. Oh, yeah. And she just said, hey, we're going to cook this. It's like she would just do, like you say, chicken. And then everybody would just take turns. You know, you would post what you made with chicken. And then y'all kind of vote on who, who made the best one. Yeah, so until she is. started putting vegan options, and then we we're like, oh, well, never mind. Maybe that's why we left. <laughs> yeah, because... Was, I think that was the one reason why I started doing my mandatory meaty Monday. Because they were real big on their meatless Mondays. Yes. That's, because, what, they, that's what it was. Because she became vegan. Yeah. Now she's not. And But she'd become vegan, and so then she wanted to have more vegan challenges, and we were like, well, never mind. We're not yeah. going to... I'm not gonna make that, but and we team talk, human. We talked about on his page, his Facebook page for uh, hungry eat the, the business uh, of doing like I told him we'd start posting and get people to you know because I love seeing everybody's pictures and everybody's so creative. I was like that would be like a fun interactive thing to do, and then when two crazies did this, I was like that's perfect. Because didn't they say something about if this goes over well, they might do it monthly? Yeah, or do it more often. Yeah, yeah, that'd be so much fun. Steph said my cardboard tortillas. Yes, that sounds awesome too. And oh, Sean has never bought hard liquor. Oh wow. Okay. Wow. Well, yeah, just a little airplane one. You can usually get those like it specs too. Yeah. But Trey said, don't forget, if you do indulge in the occasional alcoholic beverage and you're going to Keto Palooza, Kentucky bourbon. Yes. Yeah. A little pro tip, if you're going to Specs, you can get it cheaper if you pay cash. They'll give you a discount. Yeah, that's true. But I don't know if they have Specs in California. No, I don't know no. yet. She said, maybe I can borrow a shot of whiskey from a friend. Yeah. And how to get it home legally. Well, you just don't tell anybody that you're right. transferring a shot of whatever it or is. Or if you're really worried about it, put it in a little canteen or uh, an empty bottle of some sort and put it in your trunk. Yeah. Then you don't have to worry about the open container laws and stuff. Right. Then there's no way that they can say you were drinking it because you don't even have it within arm's reach, it, you know. See? Somebody knows. Lisa said Sunday is flank steak and an awesome sauce. Oh. Ooh. Uh, Monday is beef brisket with Sam's if they have it. This Monday? I gotta get yeah. that with Thaw in then. Oh yeah, it's this If Monday. we got time, if I'm able to cook it, because I bought we bought two little briskets and I'm gonna mm -hmm. smoke the smallest one, the second and a half pounder. Oh. If I have time, I'll make it burn ends that day too. Oh, okay. And if we have time, so I might uh, if I start early enough, mm -hmm. I think I can get it done, I'm gonna make Texas Twinkies too. Oh wow. She said Tuesday depends on what she can find. Wednesday is lamb bowls. Oh. Thursday is air fryer Cornish hens. Yum. That's what we're doing too. Nice. Uh, let's see. Don't bring it in a cup, yeah? Renee said just don't put it in that open cup. Yeah. It's true. But like I said, just like take a water bottle, fill it up. She said, it. so I shouldn't put a straw in it? Correct. Yeah. Probably not. Well, unless you're in New Orleans. And what they do, they'll give you a daiquiri to go, yes. and they'll just put a piece of tape over it. Yeah, they put a tape over that. Uh, Steph said, Jimmy's going outside to grill our brisket Sunday for Monday. Nice. You're going to grill it? That's cool. Uh, Jim said, I'm thinking of one of spatchcock chickens putting it on the smoker for a bit and yeah. then crisp it up in the oven. Oh, that'd be good. That'd be good, too. Renee said, Shelly, that same truck is now back What? a freaking camper. A camper? Did you need to call that uh, attorney and let him know what's going on over there in his office? Yeah, maybe talk you to him. You'd be, be a hero. Or maybe, maybe he is. Better call Saul. Right. Then you get off involved in something you don't want to know about. Right, family said, meatless Mondays, not this guy. Thank you. <laughs> bourbon chicken is yum. I yes. know. That bourbon chicken recipe. Oh, that's so good. It smells so good. Oh, here. okay. Right, baby said they're both here. Okay, awesome. Nice. Oh, and they'll buy a cookbook too. Woo nice. 
I hope it's just good. I hope y'all really like it. Shauna said we could get hard liquor in our grocery stores. Yeah, because oh. they're not in Texas. So a lot of, remember in, that, oh. in, uh, in, um, in Louisiana you can do that too. Oh, wow. But then what's funny is like, remember uh, when we went to Jack Daniels yeah. and Jim Beam? Yeah, they're in they, a dry county. They're in a dry county, but they're making all of that whiskey there. <laughs> well, it's like when I grew up in Alvin, it's a dry county too, Missouri. It's a dry oh. county. So I had to drive to Santa Fe over to Brian's house on that over there to buy my liquor. Well, of course, Santa you drive, Fe. You drive like 30 Santa minutes and, you're, and then you're clean again. <laughs> right. It's so bizarre. That's why I don't understand the walls here in Texas. Oh, Shawnee um, said she'll buy a cookbook. Aww. I can bet on dogs. I can bet on horses. Uh, but if I throw dice or cards, then I'm a felon. And I, I can play the lotto. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. Please play the lotto. But the most popular pe te uh, poker game is Texas Hold'em that I can't play legally in Texas. I don't understand. <laughs> Shana said, uh, yeah, I was shocked when I lived in Louisiana when you could go to the drive through margarita shops. Yep. Mm -hmm. Jim said, I got to up my game. I'm smoking the brisket for Monday. And Steph wants a video. Yes. Nice. Let's see that. We need a message. Stephanie and Jimmy, y'all need the uh, Halo tripod we have. Mm -hmm. Then that way your hands can be free. It's all hands free, and it even comes with a remote. Yeah. So you can hit the uh, record and stop button. That's the, the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm looking at me. I'm watching my camera. I'm on the camera. I'm watching myself. What is that? I'm, Are you milking <laughs> a cow now? I just thought of two. Well, uh, I was smashing the button. Jerry said, we have hard liquor here in Arizona. Nice. I don't indulge any longer. Six years now sober and clean. Well, congratulations. Oh, Jerry said they invite cookbook too. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, I was never a big drinker. I cooked with it more than I actually drank. I'm going to get started on the keto. Because I, uh, I was a sleepy drunk. Oh, yeah. He's uh, definitely a sleepy drunk. I'm going to spin this around so you can watch. Uh, or you got to... Uh, as I walk in up on it, look. <laughs> I know. Okay, we're running out. So, for my keto child, this is how I do my ice cream. Whoa, 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 the cord. Oh. There's a good shot of her back. Hey. Does anybody even know what this t-shirt's from? Or they see my t-shirt? Yeah, I got it right, on the, right under your chin. That's where it was hitting. Oh, gee, thanks. No, I was like right here. So, I'm just going to start with the whole stick of butter. How do I zoom in on this one? You can't on the live. Okay. Well, then here. I'm just going to get so, in a little closer. But I'm about to move. Well, then you're going to move. So, I just start with the whole stick of butter, and I put it in the microwave. Oh, yay. For 30 seconds. Sorry about that, folks. My phone just took a dive. So, that's how I get started on it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and come over here to the yeah to the auxiliary kitchen. Ooh, what sorry, was that? My shirt. I mean, my chair. Shot oh, I'm tangled up. I'm sorry, people. Oh wow, we're all over the place. Right I know. Now. I'm apologizing. Oh no, sorry, y'all. Chad said I have a bottle of wine. The name is appropriately Scrapbook Wine. Renee said she might buy a uh, cookbook. Renee, if you don't buy a cookbook, I'm going to come after you. All right, so it's been 30 seconds. Thank you all for your patience. Me getting all my stuff figured out. I'm going to do my butter another like 10 seconds. But I noticed when you're melting butter in the right way, you have to watch or else you'll have an explosion like my husband did. Ah, oh, the hotel life. All right, where are you at? Over here. Is that good, you think? Yeah. Okay. So, we were just cleaning that earlier. That's why it's a little discolored. So this is the way I do it. Might not be right. Ready? Yeah. So I melt my stick of butter because this is going to be for both of us. 
So our ice cream maker, the bowl comes out and you put it in the freezer. And then all I do for me. And if y'all want, when this is over, I'll leave the link for the machine we have underneath uh, in the notes. So I just start whisking in the uh, keto chow to my butter to start. Ooh, that's pretty green. See, they should have put that out for uh, St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> well, they have the pistachio, too. No, no, but that's more green. What's the story with this butter? Uh, oh, I just didn't know how much I would need. All right, I'll put it okay, back in the Okay, so that's pretty thick, right? So now I'm going to start whisking in some water. I'm just going to go over here and slowly warm butter. So I, I mean, warm water. So I start it warm and... Oh, talk a little louder. Okay, I start it warm and slowly kind of whisk it in. All right. Ooh, this is such a deep green. So I just start this like this. And you then... The camera. Huh? I see, I think you bumped the camera. Oh, did I? Is that upside down now? No, that's right. Oh, okay. I thought, because the other way, I had it, I had it in there the other day. That, maybe that's why it didn't fit. <laughs> yeah, probably. Here's the trash. So then, this is going to be a little loud, y'all. I turn it on. Then I'm going to slowly pour about half of it. And then I'm going to taste a little bit. Oh, yeah. Mm. I thought you asked me if I wanted a taste. And then I just add a little more warm butter. What a taste. I mean, more water, not butter. Because it basically, I want it's like. It's not that loud, maybe it's the thing. I want like two cups of warm water, but with the butter, I can't fit that all in there. So, and slowly pour it. And then usually in this little uh, fusing art, it takes maybe 30 minutes. I'm just going to stir it because I, I hate to waste it, you know? The little rib bits down here. But usually doesn't that make us two and a half servings? Well, it makes two big servings for us. Yeah. I right, pour that in there. Oh. Oh, and then see, the ribs are done. Comes like time perfect. Okay. So that's the ice cream. You're going to spin around and give me that. Yeah, I will. And then. Oh, wow. There it is going. Whoops. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. Didn't know you needed drama mean to watch our oh, live tonight. Look what we did, though. What? I left this on top. Oh, and it kind of melted? Yeah, it started rendering. We don't have a bucket for that, though, do we? Uh, no, we just pour it in the trash. <laughs> well, here. We just want to pour it in this. Well, let's do that later. Let's. Well, because if it's poured out, I can pick this up and set it in there. Okay, well, you, you can right now anyways. I just figured once I start opening it up, it's going to make a mess. Oh, look, it's dripping. Well, yeah. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes? Yeah. Wow, that went fast, y'all. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know it did that. Yeah. That's awesome, actually. And so now what are we going to do? I was going to probe it and make sure they're actually done. Oh, okay. But did we leave the probe here? We think about it in the house. Here, I'll put it there. So good. Yeah? I think those are done. I'm calling Oh, yeah, those look done. Alright. Done enough. Well, here, do me a favor. Yeah? 
Right. Pull these off and set them on the grid, on the grill. Okay. Sorry, y'all. No, just take them one by one. Here, let's, I want everybody to see. And then maybe grab Ooh. one and show them, yeah. And just set them in here. I'm going to get this out of the way. Look at that. That's awesome. That look, yeah, that looks perfect. I'm just going to set these in here. I hope they all fit. Oh, They oh. will. There's some of that yummy butter. Yeah, dip it in that too. That'd be awesome. Well, that's what I did. I kind of want to take... Oh, can oh, you whoops. fix the camera? That's what it did to me earlier too. Oh, okay. Here, can you do that? Here, why don't you move them so that okay. you're not going to fix the camera. Thank you all for being patient with us noobs. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, now I'm just going to take this, see if I can do this without making a mess. Probably not. No, that's not enough to worry with. Okay, that's first batch. Ooh, yeah, that's going everywhere. <laughs> oh, look at that. With all that butter. Oh, yeah. This is going to be amazing. And the butter on there. I just got to, like I said, I got to play Jenga and make everything fit. Yeah. I don't know if I really need these gloves on, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Ooh, that's a big one. Yes. All right. Look at all that butter on that, too. Oh, look at this one. That's really got a butter. Yeah. Mm. Yum. And yes, look. It's already starting to peel away from the bones. Oh, that's perfect. The, the last one? Yeah. Where's your barbecue sauce? Right here. Somewhere. All right. And well, then, here, I'm gonna start squirting it. Well, wait, wait, because it'll just drip out of this tray. Don't you need to put this tray on okay. this thing? Here, Good grab call. the one of the trash cans. Ooh, look at that grease dripping. Here, can you put it in this bag? We'll get it close. No, it's not gonna fit in that bag, babe. All right. Ugh. Teamwork makes the dream work. There. <laughs> we gotta clean some more. <laughs> we'll just right. call them and tell them to come clean again tomorrow. <laughs> right? Hey, can you clean some? Actually, clean it. Now, not the bonnet part, just the basket. There you go. It's my first time. I didn't know. <laughs> I see. Oh yeah. And then, wait, you gotta, when are you gonna glaze them? I gotta see if it'll fit, because the way you want me to do it, it will not go in. Because it's made it sit on that, and look, it's rubbing the top. But I think you could set it down below, right? No. Well, I think you could pull that other thing out. And yeah, just put it on the, there you go. Now that should go at the bottom one. See? Okay. Yay! There you go. Mm. Now, I don't know if, all, if I told y'all, but this is my homemade sauce. And I just took the empty uh, mustard bottle and refilled it with the sauce. Oh, wow, that looks good. Wow, it's going to be yummy and all that butter on it. I think I still need to tweak the recipe a little bit. It's a little too runny in my opinion. It needs to be thicker. Yeah. But you know what? I don't even know if I need to actually squ uh, uh, brush this. Yeah, just kind of pour it. It's kind of going all over. Yeah. All right. And then how long are you going to, and what's the setting for that? I'm going to do it on a broil. I'm going to do five minutes. Okay. Or three minutes and then check it. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. <laughs> 
So, I have to roll it around to the broil setting. Have they got me? Yeah. Broil. And then I'm going to do, it, it goes from off to 10. So I'm going to do it about a little bit halfway. I just put it to 10 and set a reminder. Okay. So here. Set it on your phone then. Because I don't know if we'll hear what, it. What, two minutes? Yeah. Alexa, set an alarm for two minutes. Oh, wow, look, just from that up there, it's touching. Nice. Um, let's see. My family said, we don't drink, but we buy really cheap whiskey to cook with. Yes. Oh, Jason's here. Miriam's here. Hey, y'all. Welcome. How are y'all doing? Yo, dog. That. Uh, um, oops, it jumped a whole lot. Let's see. Are you going to want more sauce at the table? I'll leave it there just yeah. in case. Uh, let's see. Steph said, I need to figure a way to keep the kids quiet when I record. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Uh, Instead of them just having to stare at the fryer, why don't we spin it back around on us? Yeah. Uh, Shawna said, I'm a lightweight. A sip or two and I'm sleepy and happy. That's me. That's why I said, right. I'm a cheap date. Shawna guessed my shirt, Dr. Who. Thank you. I don't know who. How's that look? I'm, 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 are we good? Well, look at the camera, babe. You can know. I can't see me when I'm behind the camera. I know, but you can see. It looks like it's good. Uh, Jeremy perfect. said, Patty has celiac and lots of whiskeys are made with gluten, so we don't have any oh. in the house. Okay, I didn't know that. Uh, you know what we need to do? Jim, Jim said, good lord, I'm dizzy. I'm sorry. I'm going to bring my gaffer's tape over and strike it on the floor. So I know we're put that every time. Uh, Renee said, he must be drinking the whiskey already. That's why he was tired. Right. Oh, Shauna said, I have the exact ice cream maker. Nice. Got it free from oh. a lady in town. Wow. Well, tell them about the first one you got. Oh. No. That's funny, though. Uh, Shauna said, she checked the mini bar. We don't even have a mini bar here. It I think they do empty. dinner, but there's no way to order it. Did you dinner here? I thought I saw it because when you pull up the address and the, the, the information on this, like it'll tell you something about a restaurant here. Oh, two minutes is up. Thank you, Alexa. I don't know if she knows that I'm thinking her, but you know, in case the robots attack. Uh, Jerry said I bought a new sublimation printer today. It would be here next week. All fun during COVID to learn more crafting stuff. New fun will make Custom mugs and tumblers. Oh, wow. That's awesome, Jerry. That sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, oh, Sean, yeah. These are done. Nice. Shawnee said I did the Lazy Man's Keto Chow ice cream. Made a shake, put it in the fridge, then poured the whole thing in a frozen drum away in 10 minutes as ice cream. Nice. Lisa said I've yet to make Keto Chow ice cream. Waiting for it to be a bit warmer. Oh, we love it. Oh, Renee hasn't had ice cream either. But she doesn't like ice cream. Wow. What is her life? Nay. Uh, Wright family said there is an I in teamwork. It's in the A hole. Wow. Marion said, hey, I've actually seen a party of the cooking. Woohoo! Uh, How's that look? Wow, that looks awesome. I mean, you is it good for them, is what I'm saying? Well, do a close up. Okay. Let's see. Well, I can't up, see what I want. And then closer to the camera. Let's see. Give me just a second. Hold it there. Hold it there. Up a little more. There. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. Perfect. Good. Looks good. All right. George, I'm going to make mine. Oh, that's mine? Wow. Well, there's 10, right? <laughs> I guess. Shot it said, Woo! Shelly, Smarty, uh, Smarty, Smarty, have a party. <laughs> you know we forgot to get out? Uh huh. The pickles and the cheese? Oh, no, I guess because I was going to have pickles and cheese. You were or we're not? We're not. He, okay. You're thinner than last week, Miriam said. Is wow. What did she say? You're thinner than last week? You think so? Because I got on the scale today and I've only lost a pound in a month. Yeah, but get this guy. So, I don't know, some people might know I was on a cut. And on the cut, I just finished my 12 weeks. Oh, I only lost five pounds. What? Can we kill this now? Yeah. Well, turn the air fryer off. 
Yeah, I, I turned it off and unplugged it. So anyways, I've only lost five pounds, but I lost 34 inches off my body oh, in 12 snap. weeks. What am I hearing? So what if, that's why weight is really not a measurement of anything. Because if I went by the scale, I would have been like, oh, this isn't working. I'm not going to do this anymore. But I kept measurements and photos. And over 12 weeks, I lost 34 inches. I lost nearly 10 inches in just my lower belly. Like my coach was like super proud of me. I was like, oh, okay. Um, uh, Renee said, share your achievement there. TC's live set. I have to go. Enjoy some ribs for me. Have a great weekend. You too, TC. Thanks for joining I'll tell us. you about them later. Renee said, oh, okay. Shauna said, Shelly, in case the robots attack, yes. You gotta be careful. I always tell Alexa that I love her and I thank her so much for helping me when she decides to. I need y'all's help. Uh-oh. Y'all remember the television show Quantum Leap? Oh yeah. When his oh, little yeah. guy, his buddy, was talking to the phone. What did he call him? I want to say Squiggy, but I don't remember for sure. Because I was telling her she needs to rename her Alexa to Squiggy. That way when she's talking to the phone, she'd be talking to him. But I would have to say, hey, Squee. Yeah, that'd be hilarious, especially if you're in public. People would be like, oh, that's smart. Jerry said, there's no I in T, but there's a me. Right. That's true. Shana said, it's just pig's lead tonight, dumb YouTube. I'm sorry, you guys. Do you want a knife and fork? Or are you just going to caveman it? I'm caveman it. Okay. Miriam said, it's in your face, he. Really? Yeah. All right, thank you. And she said, hey, five pounds is five pounds. What? 34 inches, Shelly. You're killing it. Aw, thanks, Miriam. I mean, I, it, 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 was, it was actually fun doing the cut. I, I no, never, it wasn't. Uh, I, I can't have this. I can't have that. I, can't I know, this. because he'd be like, oh, let's have cheese. Oh, let's have this. And I'm like, no. Like, one well, bite's going to mess you up? Your yes, it could. Yeah, okay. because... Like, I, you know, when I first started keto, I, I did do, you know, my macros, and I would stay within my macros, but it was just that. Like, whatever my macros, that's what I was set forever, right? Well, on a cut, you're, like, I'm learning, okay, this week I'm slowly dropping down, like, my protein and my carb and my um, fat macros slowly over 12 weeks, and then... And then it's like, oh, okay. I mean, it's such a slow amount that you don't really notice. And then all of a sudden, on week 12, I'm like, okay, I, I am getting kind of hungry. But it worked. I mean, it, it was, I actually enjoyed it. It was fun to me. And now I get to be on the reverse, which is going to be even more fun. Uh, okay, yeah. Jerry said, quantum, it was Ziggy. Ziggy. Or, Ziggy. Shauna said Ziggy. Jason said, 88% of the world gains 5 pounds in 12 weeks, so you're killing it. You know what Aww. we're going to do? I just thought of No. Save these bones. Yeah. We're going to make a bone broth, and that's where we're going to inject the, the uh, brisket with. Oh, okay, sure. Let me have, well, what do you think of it? You've been eating on it. It's pretty damn good. Well, all I got was the fat, but it was tasty. Yeah. It's not as tender as I want, but, I mean, it's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with that, they're a little chewy. I mean, it's melty. So, Miriam, have, are you doing the 2KK challenge, or did you already start the 90 day? What is the night? Do you know when you? I don't remember when it was. Uh, did you have short ribs tonight? How about you, Jason? I'm gonna be different. I'm gonna get me a knife and fork. I'm gonna be civilized. Mmm. This is good, y'all. It, it, so, not, really, 88% of the world gains 5 pounds. Wow. I'm just. That's something. Only thing I'm kind of disappointed in. Yeah? There's no heat. I figured with that ghost pepper, it'd spice it up. Well, your barbecue sauce kind of, you know, lightens the blood. Yeah. Hey, Lynette! Lynette just joined us. Welcome. What did um, you have tonight, Lynette? Did you have your short ribs or something else? Or have you eaten it yet? Because, what, it's but about 5.45 where you're at? Just 
just so sad I forgot my sodas. Uh -huh. I really enjoyed a soda with dinner. Yeah. Miriam said, we're doing the 90 day challenge, okay, but we're increasing our protein, so I need to eat meat with my keto chow. Oh. Yes. So a what steak and shake. What are you eating with the keto chow? Like, is it a lean meat or what are you having with it? What do you have with it today? Oh, Renee said, Ziggy was also that little stuffed potato shaped dude people gave us gifts in the 80s. Oh, yeah. I don't remember that at all. It was like a cartoon, wasn't it? Because I, uh, I sold one in my shop. Like, it sold like the next day when I got posted it. Somebody like bought it right up. Uh, oh, Gail's here. Hey, Gail. Welcome. We just started eating. So we just finished our ribs in the air fryer. How about you? Have you eaten yet? Um, Lynette said she just walked in the door for work. Awesome. Uh -huh. Yeah. Thanks I, for joining us first thing. That's awesome. I would say I wish these were a little more tender. I know. I wonder if there's a way I can marinate them. Or I bet you they would have been better smoked. Well, I, I really cares. thought about smoking them and then bring them over here, like, but then y'all don't get to see it. Yeah. Hey, we smoked them earlier. All right. But I mean, they're good as a rib. Yeah. We'll buy these again next time. Like to just them. eat like a rib. Mm. Well, if we would have done it in the instant pot and liquid, they probably would have shredded. Yeah. Oh, Renee said her dad used to collect all of the ziggies. Oh wow. Well, that is good, though. Mm -hmm. Gail said, I finished eating at 5 p.m. this evening. It was for your time. Oh, wow. Oh, well, yeah, because she's in Ohio, right? Marion said, I had ham and ground beef. Whatever leftover meat the 10 children in my house didn't eat. Right. Nice. We're babysitting. Oh, my goodness. You have 10 children there? Wow. You need, like, a bouncer or whatever to help you regulate them. <laughs> right? Are they all, like, mostly teenagers, or... Are they well-behaved? Mm. Well, probably. Marion's kids are always well-behaved. She just waves a stick around until they behave. Mm. What's she tell it? What's she saying on the lives all up? You're in timeout. <laughs> right? You know that, because you're always in timeout. Yeah, I mean, I was messing with her a little bit, trying to get her with Joe's peanut butter and jelly, but then I got to thinking about it. I can't even have peanut butter anymore, so why do I care? <laughs> this is really good, though. Yeah, there's a lot of fat on, on yeah. these. Do you like the flavor and everything with the sauce? I love on? the flavor. Mm -hmm. The flavor's really good. I mean, it's good in the air fryer, but like I said, it would have been better than a smoker. Okay, well, but there's just a lot of fat on this one. I know, but I'll a low and slow would have helped render that. Yeah, well, the fat's good, though, because when you taste it, yeah. it's like butter. But mm. I also can't think of any food that wouldn't be better on the smoker. Yeah. That's true. Not meat wise. Shawna says, watching, listening with my headphones. Time to air fry my ribeye. Yum. Miriam oh, said, I have ribeye. three nieces here and a friend, then just my six teenagers. Wow. No. Matreya said, moms don't need sticks. We just have that look. Oh, uh, right? Or my mom loved to pull the one where, hey, you go out through the yard and pick your own stick. Huh? I could see her saying that. See, that's just like solid fat right there. Uh-huh. Let's see. Let me try one of these others. Mmm. Well, see, that one's pulling across. What's that? I said this meat is pulling off. Yeah. 
But I think they still turned out pretty good for like what? Basically 45 minutes worth of cooking? Yeah, that's true. Right, then we said, please push the right the thumbs up. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. Yes, that really helps. Seasoning is really good. Um, Gail said, Wow, that meat looks fantastic. Thank I you. want some. Well, so, do you have know. it? Did you have the ribs tonight, Gail? Are you doing that challenge, or what did you have? I know. Uh, so, tomorrow's hamburger. You want, you want me to tell them about the burger we're going to make? Yeah, go right ahead. I'm calling it the Macho Nacho Burger. Mm -hmm. We have that leftover, um, what is it called? I'm drawing a blank. Carnitas. The carnitas. I was wanting to put it on top of the burger, but Shelly wants to stuff it in the burger, so we're going to go that route. And then, I'm going to do the cheese skirt on it. What you do is you take the uh, sliced cheese and you put it around the burger, like a little crisscross on top of the burger where it's hanging off. So as it melts, it makes the little design or it makes it look like a skirt. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to take the Keto Chow taco uh, soup mix and make the buns like we did last time for the ham, uh, ham sandwiches. Mm -hmm. And so we're just going to have the carnitas and the burger and the cheese mm -hmm. in between that taco. It's going to be amazing. And he's really excited about this. So I love burgers. What are y'all doing for burgers? And Marion said, oh, yes, the look. Uh-huh. Look how tender that is now, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, look how clean it came off the bone. I know. I'm telling them to look, and I got all this stuff in front of me. I'm sorry, folks. Uh, Jerry said, Randy Macho Man Savage Burger. Yes, See, dig it. You go natively savage in the meats again. Right? Uh-huh. And... To stay with the theme, I'm going to wear my Macho Man t-shirt tomorrow while we're cooking it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. But Trey said the cheese skirt is the best. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I wonder how Jessica's ribs turned out. If you're here, Jessica, tell yeah. us if you've got them open yet. Mm. How much longer on that? I can though. You might be ready. Sounds like it. It's usually the only thing is like 20, 30 minutes and the ice cream's done. That's what I like about it too. Oh, Carla just showed up. Welcome. Hi. Hello. Thanks for joining. Gail said, no, I made air fried chicken tenders dipped in an egg garlic mayo. Ooh. Oh, that sounds good. Then dredged in pork rind crumbs, parmesan, and a keto chow savory chicken. That's wow, that sounds decadent. Wow, did you serve it with the sauce? That's what we're gonna do for the chicken wing night. Oh? We're gonna bread it with the chicken, the the, the keto chow chicken. Oh, okay. Yeah, that that ice cream is done. So it'll be ready for us. Good. Um. Mm. That sounded good. Um. Da, 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 da. Oh, Lisa said, I haven't, I actually haven't decided on our burgers yet. Oh, decided on everything else for the weekend, huh? Matria said, maybe I should shred the beef rib mix and mix it with the goat cheese and stuff it into a burger. Oh, wow. That sounds awesome. That does. Mmm. Some of these are a little... A little hard to cut up here. A little too much fat on the on some of these. You know what we need to decide though? Mm -mm. Are we going to the farmer's market tomorrow? I know. Do you think homeboy will be there with the jalapenos? Um, I, I got the email with the list and I can't remember. I, okay. I know Dapper Goat will be there with yeah. the goat cheese. Yeah, because we're almost out. That's perfect. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Only problem is we got to get up early. That's why we're debating it. Because if you don't get there early enough, you don't, there's no parking. Well. Wow. 
I mean, I know we're going to make a barbecue or we're going to smoke a brisket on Monday. But if we're going to the market, you know, right next door is Tejas. Anyhow. <laughs> uh, Renee said, I should have gone shopping, but didn't want to miss my cuz. Aw. So I'll shop tomorrow. Got to leave the house on a weekend. You know you're important. Aw. Thanks, Renee. Cause you're the best. My dilemma is. Uh-oh. We have two barbecue joints within an hour of us. And was it two, three We've years? we got a lot more than two. Well, I'm talking. Let me finish. That they were ranked. These two I'm look, talking about. Was it two or three years ago when that list came out? Probably like North. five. They're number six and number seven in the state. It's yeah. the best barbecue in the whole state of Texas. But and Both of them are very good, but they're also very expensive. Yeah, $28 a pound for brisket. Yeah. No. I... I bought the brisket on a cook on Monday for that. I get the yeah. whole thing. Yeah. Man. Uh, let's see. I'm, was it COVID broke? Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, Gail said, I'm doing a modified version of the challenge using what meats I can find. Most of right. my meats have not matched up to the actual days. So that's fine. I think it's, you know, just getting you to venture out into... You know, something else that maybe you don't normally try. The only right? one that kind of bothered me if, uh, was the cube steak. Because we paid, what, almost $8 a pound for yeah. it? Yeah. And the rib ribeye was cheaper. I was like, uh, why am I eating this lesser cut? But it, right? I don't play the game. Um, oh, Gail said, I dipped my tenders in the G. Hughes barbecue sauce. That's and good. the sambal oulette. Oh, yeah. Mm. That sounds amazing. We could have done that. We could have done these like Asian style. Oh, yeah. Did the five spice on it and put that, that sauce on there too. But oh, next time. Um, let's see. She says, I have some beef ribs. I may do those on Sunday. Oh. Oh, Jerry says, I want to go to Franklin's. Let me some barbecue. We want to too, but. You got to get there so early. You can order them now. But. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We also wanted to go to Snow Barbecue. Mm. It, it, that same list, when it came out, they were ranked as number one. They're in Lexington, I Texas. think they've been ranked number one again, too. And we were so happy about it. We, we drove out there. Oh we were going to do it. But we kept watching different little specials about them. And she just ruined it for me. Because she said the secret for her, when everything's totally cooked, it's all clean, it's all, and there's no sugar, anything in the rubs... But when she pulls the meat off, she was so proud of herself. The, what's her name, Tootsie? Mm -hmm. The the head uh, chef pit master? Yeah. She mops everything in margarine. Margarine. I was like, well, that just ruins it. I know, I was so disappointed. Now. Like, well, at least I don't have to wait in line. Oh, because we drove by there one a couple years ago when we were in... Austin, we drove by because it's not too far out of Austin, and we drove by there, and it was like 8 in the morning, and the line was already around the block. They only open on Saturdays mm -hmm. at 8 a.m., and they close when they run out of food. Yeah. So. And they always have a line. Yeah, always. And Franklin's, too. Like, we went to, we drove to Franklin's, and we were thinking about it, and it Again, same situation. 8 a.m., people are out there with their chairs and everything. It's like if you want to be at the beginning of the line, you have to get there at like 5 in the morning. He even banned line sitters. Yeah. For a while, kids uh, or teenagers were making money because they'd be like, look, we'll get in line. You just pay me X amount per hour, right? Sure. Which, I mean, hey, that's capitalism. They're making money. And people would do that, and then they would show up, you know, like right before, and pay the kid that sat in line for them, and then they banned people being allowed to do that. It's pretty like, smart well, on their part. I, right? I'm like, well, I probably would have paid some kid. Yeah. Hmm. My only complaint with the ribs... There's just too much fat on these. Yeah. That's why I said if we would have smoked them, I think they would have rendered down better. Yeah. It's just too too fatty on some of these ribs. I mean, the flavor is there, right? But 
Yeah, it's just, just see this. Look yeah. at that big honking piece of fat hanging off of it. Yeah, there's just too much fat, which is weird for me to say that, but it tastes good. It tastes really good. It's just too, too, too fatty for me. Oh well, at least I know we're gonna have some good ice cream. Right. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> See, a big meal like this though mm -hmm. is gonna make it real easy to do no man tomorrow. Mm -hmm. If we've discovered we get so busy running around doing our errands and whatnot on Saturdays, it's just it's just easier to just oh mad on Saturdays. I know. Oh, Lynette said today she had three keto chows and a can of salmon. Mmm, that sounds good. Mm-hmm. Oh, Miriam said she did chocolate mint twice and chocolate all mixed with butter. Yum. Oh, nice. That's what you made up was chocolate, right? Right. Mmm. Lynette did chocolate, chocolate peanut butter, and lemon. Mmm. All together? No, it's her No, that sounds good too, though. Lemon, chocolate, peanut yeah, butter, Yeah, I'm going to try it just once. Lemon and chocolate. Yeah, why not? A little sweet and tangy. Mm-hmm. Well, I love your barbecue sauce. Mm-hmm. I don't guess it. I cream sounds so good, except I'm not a key lime gal. Oh, wow. I love key lime. Yes. Like, we went to Key West oh. and a few times on a cruise, right? And there's this place there called Kermit's. Oh. And the guy, you've probably seen on TV as they, they posted it like everywhere. But he stands outside, right? And he's dressed up, you know, like in a chef's outfit. And he's holding these key lime pies. And when people come by, he acts like he's going to throw it in your face. It's like hilarious. But that's like the place you're supposed to get key lime pie and a key lime cheesecake. And so I've gone there uh, way back. And we would always get those. And I mean, it's good. It's Key West also where we uh, discovered the Argentinian shrimp. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, it's so happy we found it at Kroger. I know. Jim said, I'm running to the store for ice and salt to make some ice cream. Oh, wow. That's nice. like old style ice cream. We do our ice cream with just butter. Mm -hmm. I, I, thought so, I, saw, I saw somebody, I read somebody that said that they use. The heavy whipping cream, and it turns out almost like a custard. Yeah, yeah, because it adds all that creaminess. But Trey said, that makes sense. I haven't really loved beef ribs in the past. I'm hoping smoking helps. Well, I know when he got the dinosaur ones, like the real big ones, that um, when he smoked those, they were like amazing mm -hmm. smoked. Remember, that, that yeah. turned out spectacular. And it could be that these just these short ribs just have way too much fat. Right. But we really like uh, beef ribs like that mm -hmm. because like we've gotten them at the um, Bar barbecue joints. No, well that and remember we got them at um, the uh, Brazilian steakhouse. Oh yeah. But it really turns out good, and you know they're not smoking it; they're just putting it under their but roaster. Just, but it really helps. Yeah. Uh, the fat. I think that's the thing. These just didn't render down the fat as well. Right. As I think it should have. And maybe, like that one video I saw the guy doing it, I think his were smaller too. Mm. It was a, better, a different cut. Or just smaller. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Gail said, is Delilah snoring again? Yep. Is she feeling any better? I think she's feeling better. Well, she acts like her old self. Like, yeah. She just is like, oh, this is me. This is my life. But she still keeps the light up. Yeah. And I honestly don't know if it's her knee or her foot. Because when I'm feeling the, the bones going to her paw, there is definitely a lump there. Right? It's that not I, a tumor. Like, I can feel it there along where the bones are. So, I don't know if she kind of, like, cracked something or, or something happened and it's caused just a little bump. She doesn't like it when I try to mess with her foot. 
And she has been like trying to stand on it, but then she like, you could see it like shaking, you know, because I guess it hurts. Um, but then did with you her. Did you pill today? Uh, tonight. You did? No, not tonight. Okay. But with her knee, uh, so I try to give her a massage every night. We try to get the blood flow and massage there because that's what our excellent physical therapist specialist told us. And and then I like rotate the knee and I'm keeping my arm on it. And when I, you know, move the knee in the different places, I don't feel anything that feels abnormal. And she doesn't pull away when I do that. But with her paw, if I'm rubbing on it, and move it then like last night it was kind of bothering her and she kept tucking her foot in and then finally she turned the other way so that it's i couldn't like, touch get it. away from her i know she's like okay i'm gonna be the other direction so that you have don't have access to my foot or leg so that was bothering her oh rhonda's here Hello. hey rhonda thanks for tuning in welcome aboard yeah thank you Shada said, out of the air fryer to the cast iron skillet. Yum. Oh, yeah. Rhonda said, hey, guys, how late am I? Well, you're eating, so real late. Nah. You're what never it? late. Wow, it's already 8 o'clock. Is it? Yeah, 8.06. Oh, my gosh. Time flies when you're having fun with mm -hmm. all of the hungry hordes. All right. Uh, Steph said, he's been mean to me today. He can walk. What? Wow. Renee said, I've done the dinosaur beef ribs, low and slow, covered in the oven, then broiled for crust and super tender. Oh, nice. That sounds really good. If I had the oven. Huh? That, that air fryer machine is going to be a beast to clean. Mm. I'm not looking forward to that at all. Steph said, I was in the kitchen helping to get the kids' meals together. Split a rib between them all. Oh, wow. Yeah, Delilah would love this. Uh-huh. But she is asleep, Gail. What? Snoring away. The vet did tell us, too, that she's too heavy. Yeah. So we can't, they said that we need to stop giving her table scraps. Can you believe that, Stephanie? They said Delilah's fat. They said that she should be around 67 pounds or so, but she was 76 when I took her in there. Yeah, and they said she, she needs to lose. Fast. She she should lose ten pounds, and I'm like, oh, that's my little baby. So we had to cut back our food. Because what we were doing, this uh, hotel gives you free breakfast every morning, mm -hmm. and of course all of its carbs, and there's potatoes in it. Mm -hmm. So they would give us like an omelet with some fried potatoes and different kinds of sausages. Well, I grab two or three of them, bring them up here, and give it to her as her breakfast. Mm -hmm. But then they told us that, and she said, I gotta stop. So, I said, Well, don't be giving her carbs anymore. Let's. We gotta give the dog keto. Uh huh. Pretty much. And like they, the other day, they had uh, pancakes and sausage. So I just oh. gave her that. I just broke the, the pancakes up and just fed them to her. She loved it. Well, yeah. But no more. Um. Uh, Gail said, I'll probably have to do my ribs in the slow cooker and then do a broil for some crispiness. Well, Stephanie Not said, how could she be fat? She's carnivore. I know. Well, the pancakes and all Yeah, that. the pancakes and oh, man. all the old. stuff. I mean, she is a stocky dog, but... That's because she's a pit. <laughs> Something in her. Lisa said, I did my ribs in the Instant Pot then finished them off under the broiler. That's awesome looking. That does look really good. Oh, we Can need you to zoom take on, pictures. Can you see that? They're not going to see that from here. We'll take a picture of that. Yeah, because we didn't take any pictures of the dinner. I'll, what I'm going to have to do is we'll come back and I'll take screenshots of mm -hmm. the video. Mm -hmm. That looks like just a piece of steak. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Oh man, I'm getting full. She might get some of uh, Oh, she goes, oh, now I, I see it was the pancakes, right? Yeah. Renee said, I figure if I wouldn't eat it, my dog shouldn't have to. Spoiled, well, right? Mine too. Yeah. Mm. All right, I'm done. No, what spoils are darn cats. Yeah, they are spoiled, but they need it. I Filled their bowl up and they're still yelling at me. 
Okay, I'm gonna go take a look at the ice cream. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's see. Oh, yeah, once I sit up, I am kind of full there. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I'm done too. <laughs> I gotta have room for ice cream. That's right. So I think what we'll do. Yeah. We are gonna throw all this in there and finish it in the instant pot. Okay. Until it just all falls off the bone. Yeah. That makes it. Ooh, yeah. Look at all that. And then you know what we'll do with the, the meat? Huh. Mix it up with scrambled eggs. Oh yeah, that'd be good. It'd be amazing. This is dirt. Make it some dirty eggs. Right. All right. Well, I'm gonna grab. Also, I'm gonna hop up and grab all those containers and start putting this up. You know, putting them off in the containers so we can get the stuff out of the way. Okay. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. Hold on. Ooh, that's cold. Huh. Am I even showing? I'm trying to get this in the camera so they can see it oh. without making a mess. How does that look, y'all? That's better than Bluebell. <laughs> to eat our dinner then we just pop it in the ice cream that we want and by the time we're eating dinner it's ready right Ooh. and we're being really thrifty they oh. uh oh yeah at that buffet they put these little uh, containers out the, the food in it and i've been saving them yeah we're using them and i'm taking them home and using them too Yes, definitely. Well, it, it makes it easy, you know, for storing stuff. And then, like, especially when we're bringing stuff home for our... Oh, whoa. What was that? I found a bone. Especially, Sorry about it. Especially when we're, like, bringing stuff back and forth from here to the home. Like, it's easy to pack all of our lunch in that. Y'all. No, this is so fascinating. Thank y'all for your patience. <laughs> wow, this ice cream looks great. Well, it's keto chow, so of course it's going to be good. Right? That's true. Where are you going? She got off the couch, ran over to get up on the chair. That. Right. I'm going to be in some more. That's all right. She deserves it. All right, let's take a look at our bowl. Oops, ooh, there we go. Doesn't that look good? That is the- You know what, screw that guy. I'm gonna let her have this. That... Delilah, you wanna play? Ooh, sorry, I did not mean to do that out loud. I'm sorry, folks. Uh, go on, baby. She wouldn't even care. Well, she's like, what do I do? How do I get there? I'm confused. <laughs> Better than Bluebell. You might get some Texans pretty bad at that. Well, there's no Listeria on this one. Wow. Uh, let's see. Let me get caught up here and then. Okay. Renee said, okay, I read that one last. Gail said, Heat, you gotta make you gotta say some root for that ice cream. That's what I'm doing. I'm packing all this up. <laughs> right family said good night. Good night, right night. family. Thank y'all for watching. Thank you. And See y'all next week. Us, Rhonda said, what flavor? This is the key lime, the new newest flavor from Keto Chow. We haven't tried it yet. So I wanted to make a cheesecake, but Cheesecakes take several hours because you want it to set up and everything. And I didn't want to do just a fluff. I want to do like an actual cheesecake. So I was like, well, the next best thing is ice cream because we could do that on camera and make it and then eat it while we're here. So that's Good what girl. we're doing. Shauna's back. Welcome back. Matreya said, nice. 
Renee said better. Oh, yeah, I read that one. Lisa said that ice cream looks awesome. Thank you. Shauna said, well, I was listening with headphones and cooking my dinner. Don't scoot it. Don't. I just said don't scoot it. I didn't mean to. I just set it down. Good girl. <laughs> I'm glad those were empty. <laughs> I do my own stunts. <sighs> so, I'm waiting to, to for us to try it at the same time here. You ready? We're going to do a Joe Rachel. Dink. Dink. Mmm. Miriam, if you're still on here, that is amazing. Wow. Awesome flavor. Yeah, you definitely get the tartness from a key lime. Oh, this is going to be amazing as a uh, cheesecake. <laughs> right? That's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is good. It's like even after a couple minutes, you know how key lime will kind of have that cooling effect in yeah. your mouth? Sorry, Delilah, come on, be a little quieter. We should put it on the towel. But so it gives that, that cooling effect. Good girl. Put your foot there. Hold it. Just not like that. See? There. So it definitely gives the cooling effect. It tastes good. What do you think, babe? Pretty, pretty good. I can't talk any. That... Uh, okay, sh Steph said, I always do a no-baked cheesecake. None of us like the baked cheesecakes. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Hmm. Uh, Lynette said, key lime is one of my favorites. But even the no-bake, aren't you supposed to refrigerate it at least, like, four hours or overnight? And that's why I was like, well. How are you going to do that? Because you don't have a spring form pan anymore. We used it for our skillet pizzas, remember? <laughs> Oh, you, there's other ways of doing it. Um, Ooh, last room headache. Renee said, sorry, not as chatty. Running on the trip, on the treadmill. Get it in. Good job, Delilah. And I'm just put those back in the cabinet. Mm. I know a lot of people disagree with this. But the reason I like the ice cream made with the butter Instead of the heavy cream. I've tried it with heavy cream. Yes, it's very smooth, like an ice cream. But with the butter, because it starts congealing a little bit, it gives like little chunks in here That's of the awesome. fat. So it kind of gives like you're having, um, what is it, junk in your ice cream. And I personally like that Jump kind in of. Your trunk. Yeah, but I like that in uh, my ice cream. I like the fact that it's crunchy, or not, not, not crunchy, but chunky. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Gail said, "I'm cracking up over here. Delilah's a hoot." Uh huh. I know. Where'd you go? Uh, She's already up. She ate. She wants to sleep. Huh. Shana said, "My too. Key lime is life." So that's your favorite flavor, Shana. Uh, Jerry said, I made a delicious cheesecake in my Instant Pot. So oh, easy wow. that way. Oh, Did that's you do true. the foil sling to get it out? Because I'm in, uh, I think, two different uh, face, uh, Instant Pot Facebook groups, and they keep talking about doing that to mm. get it out. Shauna said, air fry ribeye seared in cast iron with a side of Cal Kalamata olives. Wow. And super aged white ch cheddar slice. I was with you till the olives. <laughs> he does not like olives at all. <laughs> the only way I'll eat them is if it's olive oil. Mm -hmm. Steph said, I'll have to try the ice cream with the butter. I like it this way. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then plus, you know, with the heavy cream, you know, sometimes it... And there's less carbs that way too, right? Well, less carbs with butter and it uh, sometimes too much heavy cream kind of upsets my stomach. Whereas butter doesn't. And then, you gotta watch the heavy cream too for the, uh, what's the carrageenan or whatever? Yeah, so you have to get a good, clean one. Shada said, I think so, yes. But not with my coffee. You want key lime coffee? That's not appealing? No. I know. I 
couple days this week, I took a little bit of the chocolate toffee and put it in my coffee. Oh, that's so good. That is so good that way. Mm. Mm. Jerry said, what was your recipe for ice cream? I missed that. I have a wonderful ice cream maker, but the couple of times I made it, it was too icy. Oh, and you used keto chow with heavy cream and water? Mm. So all I do, really it's just my lazy way of doing it. Uh -huh. I just do a stick of butter, because it's for both of us. I melt that, melt that, and then I use a whisk, and I just whisk in the keto chow to the melted butter in my measuring cup, because again, I hate a lot of dishes. And then I slowly whisk in warm to hot water to it till I fill it up and then I slowly pour about half of it in then I add some more water to basically get it up to two cups worth of water and then I slowly pour that in I don't find it icy I okay I think it has the same texture as a sorbet yeah basically yeah that's what like on princess the sorbet that's what it reminds me yeah. of texture wise so it's not creamy like an ice cream would be. It's more of the sorbet texture. And then um, then you get the little chunky bits of the butter. Yeah, it's really good. I just got some right now. Mm -hmm. I love this. Gail yeah, says, what brand of butter do you use? The bougie stuff? Whatever's on sale. Mm -hmm. So for like the keto chow and most cooking... I, we just buy the cheapest butter. Like one time Kroger was having their butter for like a dollar something uh, for a pound. So we'll just buy, I bought like 10 of them that day. Um, or sometimes if like when we are having a lot of steaks, like a lot of ribeyes, then I will get the bougie butter. I um, One of my friends was like, oh, you got to get this Normandy butter. It's the best stuff ever. So we went all the way to Central Market. This is a specialty grocery store in Houston. There's only one. It's uh, Central Market is like the HEB's version of Whole Foods. Mm hmm. Real bougie, real bougie city, uh, part of town that it's mm -hmm. in, the richest part of town. So we went there. I found the butter. I think, though, it was only like $7. I don't remember. Uh, for like, basically a stick of it. And we got that. I mean, it is good. It's already salted. I normally buy unsalted butter because I like to, I like Redmond salt. So I like to know I'm adding Redmond salt to my butter if I'm going to do that. And plus, um, when I used to bake like all the time, I always bought unsalted butter because when you're baking, you want to be able to control the salt um, portion that you're adding to your baked goods. So I just kind of was used to buying unsalted and that's just what I continue here. And then, like, if we're putting it on steak or whatever, then we already going to be adding our red mints. So, to me, it evens out. Mm -hmm. So, for everyday things, even when he makes his keto chow shakes, we just use the cheap plain butter. Whatever's cheapest and on sale. For anything, like, to top our steaks, then sometimes we'll do a little bougie. But sometimes I don't, you know, it's like, well, if that's all we got, that's all we got. Mm-hmm. But I really like what she does, too, though. Huh? He's like, we'll go to Costco. We want to buy something. She'll pull up the Kroger or the HEB app or um, Sprouts and see which way, which way is cheaper. And then we'll, after we'll leave Costco, go there and get the cheaper stuff. Right. Unless we want it in bulk. Shawty said, I buy poor man's butter. Right? Yep. Hey, hey, it's still, it's butter. You're already a step above a lot of people. Well, it's like I was telling her, but I used to be like, when I did drink beer, my favorite was free and free light. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Well, Matt said, I have a Kerry Gold Butter Gal. No, uh -huh, I thought it was good. That is really good. Do you Have you tried the Aldi's one? We got um, we got it from Aldi one time, and it, it was really good. And then Costco had a sale on it, and we uh -huh. bought it yeah. that time, too. Uh, you know, I like butter. Any kind of butter, I'm usually happy. Mm -hmm. uh, Renee said, Shelly, did you try your coffee, how I've been doing it? Um, I did that one day. So, Renee, remind me, it was like a little bit of baker's chocolate, unsweetened. 
Um, didn't you do some heavy cream and butter in it too? So one day when you posted about it, I put butter. I didn't have heavy cream. So I did butter and a little bit of unsweetened chocolate. You know, like just a little chunk. I didn't have a way to shave it and put it in there. And I shaked my coffee up because I have a little travel mug. And I shaked it up and that's how I drank it. Shaked it up. Yeah, you shaked. shook it. You shaked it. Yeah, I shaked it. When you're teeing eggs. Oh my goodness. Steph says we get Sam's butter. Mmm. So I got an idea. Uh oh. I think. Uh uh huh. Well, because we have the rest of the rest of the month to finish. I'm gonna take these home. Uh huh. I'm gonna tape this together. And write on there what it is. Okay. Hear me out. Put it in the freezer. So that way they'll stay together. And then when we want to cook them in the instant pot, we'll just pull it out and cook all of them. Oh, okay. There'll be one little container. All right, sure. Uh, Shauna said it's sometimes... It's not just a hat rack. You ain't going to give me that look. Shana said, sometimes our grocery outlet discount store has the bougie stuff cheaper. Oh, nice. nice. Aw, Lynette said there's no Aldi in Utah. Aww. Well, how about Trader Joe's? Yeah. Yeah, those are kind of bougie priced though, aren't they? No, you always say that. And I said, no, they're not. They're mm. cheap. We never go there, though. Well, because the, yeah. remember it's so small. And there's not a whole lot the of, And there's not a whole lot of options. Right. It's all a bunch of just... Yeah. Hi, horny. Yeah, you know, because they they don't have a huge meat selection. Huh. We're sitting there eating ice cream. We're both facing the main vent, and it's just kicked on, mm -hmm. throwing it on us. China said, maybe when 2KK is done with the protein challenge, we do a fat challenge. I'll do a butter taste test. Yeah. <laughs> right? Uh huh. Uh, and she said, I think I heard Aldi is like our Trader Joe's. Yeah, so Aldi, the owners of Aldi and Trader Joe's are actually German brothers. That's what we found and out. And if you go to Germany, I think Trader Joe's is called uh, Trader Joe's North. And Aldi is referred to as Trader Joe's South. And what it was is the two brothers kind of like, no, I want to do it this way. And another was, I want to do it this way. So they call it north and south over there. So then when they came over, uh, one kept the Trader Joe and the other one changed his to Aldi because the actual family name, or maybe I have it backwards, Aldi might have been kept. But the actual family name is, uh, means like Aldi, it's like Aldi something German. So they were able to keep it that way. Awesome. We watched a whole thing on it. Um, okay, Renee said, and I added the remnants and cayenne. A cayenne? Oh, I didn't do the cayenne. I'll have to do that. Are you getting full? Yeah. <sighs> like, Gail said, did you all see Joe and Rachel's butter showdown? Yes. yes, we did. Did you see my reply on their Facebook post? Uh-uh. Is that is the gif with uh, Paula Deen and the butter just shooting into her mouth, the whole stick? <laughs> yeah. That was uh, that was a great uh, video, though, because mm -hmm. I like seeing them try everything and then guessing and breaking it and being like, oh, wow. Like, the goat butter was number one. And I actually bought that goat butter, uh, gosh, sometime last year I saw it. At Whole Foods, wasn't No, at an H-E-B. Oh, okay. Up here is that new H-E-B I like. Oh, ah, yeah. It's like a fancy H-E-B, and they have, like, all this specialty cheese area, and they had the goat butter, and I was like, ooh, and it was, like, $7 and something, and I was like, well, I'm going to buy it anyways, and I bought it, and you were like, eh, I can't tell a difference. Yeah, it's fine. Well, if you like it, I'll eat it. Yeah. But a lot of the new H-E-Bs are really starting to get a little extravagant. They're, like, they're a lot of ways to remind me of a Walmart with having everything. You can buy clothes in there now. I and know. a lot of them are having more restaurants uh, uh, attached to them as well. Yeah. Uh, Lynette said, I still need to watch the Butter Showdown. You should. It's fun. Oh, Caboodle Bry is here. He said, hey there. 
Y'all did think I'd make it tonight. How's the key lime ice cream? Oh, amazing. I bet I'll finish it now. Yeah. Who uh, that old? Shauna said, I did not know that. Okay, tomorrow when I get off work on the way to Mom's, I'll head to Trader Joe's. They don't have a butcher, though, just a fridge set. Yeah, yeah. see, that's why we're not crazy about it, because... A lot of prepackaged frozen stuff. Yeah, and so we just don't really ever go... Like, we like that one seasoning mix. Yeah, the, the Salute to 21, or 21 yeah. Salute, or whatever, that one's good. Uh-huh. And I have a... Somebody had said in season, when they have their pumpkin coffee, that it's, like, the best... And I got it. It is pretty good. I tell you what, it's way better than Dunkin' Donuts. And I'm sorry to anybody in the Northeast. I do not care for Dunkin' Donuts. And a lot of people will be like, it's so I don't much either. better. I'm keto. It's so much better than Starbucks. But honestly, I went to, I had, on my birthday, I got a free Starbucks and a free Dunkin'. So I had to do both that day. Can't waste my free coffee. The one at Dunkin', I actually threw it away. It wasn't even free, wasn't even good enough to drink it. I was like, this is bleh, and I, I tossed it. I drank my free Starbucks, though. But, yeah, free, I, I don't know. I just didn't care for, for Dunkin'. It's, um, I don't know, the, the flavor is just too much for me. But I, I do know I'm more of a medium roast person. She's turning into a beer snob. I mean, a, a, a coffee snob. No, I'm not. I'm open to coffee. <laughs> mm. Oh, man. Shauna said, uh, I love Heath. The more full he is, the more his eyes droop closed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I'm here for your entertainment. Gail said, I saw that story too, Shelly, about Aldi Trader Joe. I should have said they were brother companies, right? So, <laughs> sister company? Yes. Yeah. Steph said, I know, right, Shawnee? He looks Ooh, almost cool. miserable. No, I'm happy. I love these. I thank you all for hanging out with us. This is awesome. Yeah. Uh, Shawnee said, new retirement goal. Buy my RV, travel the country, visiting all these grocery stores. That would be a fun one. Well, that's our new one. Is once we get some money, we're gonna start hitting up and traveling around to see up all the uh, amusement parks. Yeah, that would be. Because now we're losing weight, I think. I think I can start fitting in them again. The uh, roller coasters. Mm-hmm. Only thing I'm worried about are my long legs. I don't know if I because sometimes they're so tight I can't get in to sit down correctly. Right. And then. What? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. What's y'all's retirement goal? Like, what's your retirement dream? I want to retire to a cruise ship. Yeah, I can see that. I would, I would honestly, if I could, I would love to retire and just travel. You know, like uh, yes. Donna and Jim do. Yes. That would be so much fun. I've been seeing in my cruise groups, a lot of people, um, I'm going to save my spoon because I know there's some in the thing I'm going to eat on. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of the cruise groups I'm in, People are, like, really putting down on cruises and, like, getting excited because uh, Carnival's saying, like, they expect to be in full force by October. And they said the first quarter sales went up, like, 90%. That'll be good on our stock then, right? Oh, yeah. Our stock's gone way up. Like, like I'm really way happy. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay. triple. No, quadruple what I paid for the stock. Nice. When it dropped really low, I got it when it was really low. And then I, um, now it's already quadrupled. So, that's good. Yeah. I but, can't wait to go on a cruise again. I freaking <laughs> love them. Yes. We do miss our cruises. And it is so easy to stay carnivore it on is. a cruise. It is. It, well, it, to me, it's easy to stay keto on a cruise. Mm -hmm. and especially, my tip is, and really, you could do this with any restaurant anywhere, is you tell them, look, I have allergies. That's the key word. I yeah. have allergies. Yeah. I can't have corn, soy, or um, wheat. I'm allergic to those. And that pretty much gets rid of most things. And because the one place in Niagara Falls, remember, they cleaned the grill for me to make sure that I didn't have any of Cross that. contamination. Yeah. And I was like, oh, wow. 
That was really nice of them, but, I mean, it was a steakhouse, so believe me, we right. paid for it. But, I mean, they, like, really went overboard, but I've never had any problems at any restaurant when we've traveled, mm. and I've said, uh, you know, what? There's been a couple recently. I just don't want to, I don't want to go into it and, and start running the kind of the restaurant down, though. Well, what, what happened? It was, it was a keto restaurant, remember? They had a keto menu. It was just recently. It was like the third time I ever ate there. We don't want to go um, back. Yeah. Well, what, uh, this, so this one restaurant, uh, they have such potential, right? And we were talking to them and they were bragging and saying, oh, they're going to start offering chicharrones. We're like, oh, good. So you're going to fry them in their own fat. And she was like, oh, no, we'll do it in canola oil. I was like, okay, well, we won't be eating there. Or at least not the chicharrones. I mean, the food is good. It's just, it's hard for me when somebody claims things are keto. And then when you ask questions, it's like, well, okay, if they're okay with canola oil, how do I know they're not cooking this also with canola oil? Because they don't see the problem with it, you know? So, it's better for me if we go to, like, remember last week we went to Babbins? Yes. And I just, I told the waiter, I said, look, I have, you know, an allergy. I can't have wheat. I can't have corn. And he was like, oh, you can't have any of our sauces then. I said, none of them. He's like, Yeah, nope. we were going to order a steak with a seafood sauce, uh, seafood on top. And he's like, well, no, because all yeah. of the sauces have flour. He said, every single sauce they make, even though it said lemon butter Diablo shrimp, I was like, well, that sounds clean, right? Lemon butter. But I always ask, I've learned over two years, you have to ask. You can never assume. If you're not cooking it, I ask. And he was like, nope, we put flour in all of the sauces. And I was like, oh, well, I can't have that. I mean, it's kind of disappointing that they do, but at the same time, I'm, I'm happy he told us at least. Right. Instead of just saying, oh, yeah, so... It's good they notify us, and yeah. then we were able to, we just got their boiled shrimp, which, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not sad about that, and, and we oysters. got raw oysters, and then they did do like a sirloin for us on the side and made sure it was cooked. And that was actually pretty, really good, actually. Yeah, The sirloins was. usually aren't that great. Oh, listen to this. Renee said, don't let that sleepy look fool ya. These two stay up uber late on the weekends. Us? I wonder why. I know. Not us. Jim said, well, made it back and ice cream is churning. Yay! Yes. Awesome, Jim. I just, I all have such fond memories of ice cream. Yes. Uh, my, 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 uh, my grandfather... He used to have a bowl about the same size we just had after every uh, dinner. But before he went to sleep, he would go back into the uh, ice cream and level it off before he put it away. <laughs> right. And that's, how, that's exactly he. Uh, I, Gail said, I, I learned from the best. Oh, well, yeah. Gail said, do you have any ice cream left? Technically, yes, because in the um, turner bowl, it's like on the side, it kind of clumps, you know, freezes against the wall because that's frozen. So usually in about 30 or so minutes, it'll melt enough where I can start chipping away and I'll eat the rest of it. You Sometimes know. he won't. He'll be like, oh, never you mind. You know this is awesome, though? Because we haven't had ice cream this way since we've been at the hotels. Yeah. Now we can have it every day if we wanted. We're not in a hurry to take it back home. Oh, you're not. No. Lynette said, Shana, I'll join you. And Shana said, Trader Joe's was where I first had everything but the bagel seasoning. Yeah, yes. that's good too. Jerry said, Dunkin' Bold is delicious. Well, I'm glad you like it, Jerry. Well, that leave more for him. <laughs> that's you, right. He can have your share. Shana said, I must confess, I do not like pumpkin spice anything. Well, that's fine. That's just basic white chick, right? <laughs> ha ha. No, it's actually, I mean, it, it's a, it's actually considered like an all-purpose seasoning. It just has the pumpkin because that's the main, when you think of how you season pumpkin, those are the seasonings you use, but they also use the same seasonings for like apple pie. Oh, okay. And, yeah. 
It's just that became like the fall thing. Caboodle Bry said, oh my god, I hope Autumn's not watching. That looks like a pocket pocketless t-shirt on hell. He. No. There's no pocket. Yeah. He has to have a pocket or he like goes berserk. Because it's just, it's handy. <laughs> Renee said, I do like the duck and bold and I despise Starbucks burnt overpriced brew. Well, I mean, honestly, I've been getting Starbucks, well, their nitro is really good. I have to say the nitro is really good. Um, the coffee, I either get a blonde or a medium roast, and it tastes good to me. Maybe I'm just, like, used to it. I mean, it's not as good as my bones. I definitely prefer bones. But, you know, sometimes, like on a Saturday when I'm driving around, I don't have time to make my bones and carry it with me because I've already drank it. <laughs> Steph said, I didn't even like Dunkin' Donuts back in the day. It was Shipley all the way. Well, Amen. yeah, because you're Texan. Right? Yep. Uh, Shawna said, I want to find that story. Netflix? I don't know. I actually watched it on YouTube, I think. Uh, Steph said, not miserable being on live, but from being full and tired. Well, right. She said, you're not from being on the live. <sighs> Steph says they want to travel when Jimmy retires. That'd be nice. Shauna said, buy an RV, have a scrapbook no. closet built in. Oh, shower, bathroom, and travel the country visiting my keto friends. We'll need an air fryer and Blackstone. Well, you got to have that. And a KOA membership because right. they need to park the RV. Nice. That would definitely be fun because we were actually talking about that today. We were like, man, I wish we could travel and then like visit all of our friends along the way. Mm -hmm. Jim said, I want to retire and hang out with my friends and complain about being bored. <laughs> right? I bet you do. On those long days when you're working like 16, 17 hours, you're like, oh, I can't wait till one day I'm like, oh, I'm so bored. Right? right? <laughs> That'd be the day. Uh, Jerry said, cruise maybe next year. Hoping for the low-carb cruise in May 2020, but it might be 23 for Patty and me. Just being cautious. Right. I don't blame you, uh, Jerry. I, I'm i still A little hesitant shy. because, like, I'm looking at the May 22 cruise, but I just first have it to go to Miami or Florida somewhere, and then I, I just... I want to see how everybody, when the cruise industry starts up again, I how all that goes. Paid. Right. Um, but I think it's, to me, overall, cruises are generally very clean. Yeah. So, I don't think they'll have an issue as far as keeping things clean. Um, we'll just see how it goes as far as, you know, what's going to happen, what the CDC will say, you know, and all that stuff. But, um... We'll just see. I know that they're, you know, really just to get started on everything I've read. And, you know, of course, lots of people are, like, they're gearing to go. Yeah. Everybody, I think everybody, it's, I mean, basically, we've been locked up for a year. Right. I think most everybody is just ready, ready yeah. to leave. And I think kind of like the silver lining in us having, you know, our home demolished is that kind of, Feels like getting away, staying at the hotel. Yeah. You know, like I feel like it's like a retreat right. for us. You know. Well, that's what I was telling you, watching uh, Joe and Rachel's new channel, The Two Crazy Campers. I know, that's fun. We don't care about camping. No. But seeing them do the reviews on everything, I'm like, that kind of looks like a cruise ship room. I know, it does. Right, Jerry? Do you watch The Two Crazy Campers? Do not the RVs remind you of cruise ship rooms? <sighs> Oh, Shauna said she's going to be debt-free in a couple years. Wow. wow. I'm jelly. Me too. I'm just going to tell them to go away. <laughs> yeah, it's not usually how it works. Well, oh, gosh. We're really behind. Uh, we're visiting. Um, we're, let's see. Yeah. We're visiting with each other. Yeah. Lynette said, but KPL will be so awesome. Yes. Keto Palooza. Yes. I'm so I'm excited. So, I am too. Um. Yeah, Shada said she's excited. Kaboodle Bryce says he's excited. Uh, yeah, Shada said she was chatting with me to the wee hours last night. I'm, okay, so last night when I went to sleep, I think it was like 2? Ish. 
I got like five hours of sleep and I didn't sleep well. Like I kept, I woke up at one point. Yeah, I woke up at like 6.15 this morning and I hate when Waking I... Waking up? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I could be a professional sleeper, but I hate when, like if my alarm's at seven, I would rather wake up at three in the morning and have to go use restroom or whatever and then go back to sleep then wake up at like 6.15 when my alarm's at seven. How about y'all? What what would you prefer? Of course, ultimately, no waking up. But then, last night, five hours, but at 6.15 I woke up, had to use the restroom, and you know, I feel like, oh, it's it's so in the middle of the night, you know, it's so dark, and then I see it's 6.15, and I'm like, ugh, I have to wake up in 45 minutes. So, of course, I still crawl back into bed to try to get a little bit more shut-eye, because I was tired, but... It's just you the pee worst. Fast, you're gonna get back to bed. Uh, I know that's what I do. I'm like, I'm gonna hurry up, go in there, and then hurry up, get back into bed, and try to get a little more sleep, and then, oh, was your knee hurt? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. It keeps locking up on me. But and then it, it was just, it was a night. So this morning was like three cups of coffee. <laughs> Uh, Renee said, oh, I know, me too. I know, Renee. Then Renee had to tell us about uh, her neighbor that had some weird car show up, and then the police didn't do bleep 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 That's about it. That's She's called the police or dealt with the police. Yeah, that's what nothing. she said. They don't do anything there. And then... That never happens in Houston, by the way. Whatever. <laughs> you just got to be armed yourself. Yeah. But no, like, I then... Like, Renee's like, oh, this guy's here just when I was, like, ready to pass out. And then I'm, like, laying there awake going, oh, my gosh, I hope Renee's fine. I hope she's not, like, trying to offer the guy a plastic bag again. <laughs> I, hope, I hope she's good. And then I'm, like, laying there worried. And then she's like, well, the police left. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, please, just go in your house and shut all the doors. Lock everything. <laughs> Right? Instead of I was like all worried, like, oh, I hope she's okay. That's why you stayed up so late worrying about her. Well, yeah. I worry about my cousin. Uh, Lisa said, the Cracker Barrel Bobby always accommodates me and cleans the grill griddle. Wow. Oh, that's cool. That's nice. Lisa says she likes a light roast coffee. Me too. Gail said, I'm such a chicken. I don't think so. She goes, I have a Vitamix and a cheapy ice cream machine in case he mixes but i'm afraid to make ice cream because i feel like i will mess it up i love very creamy ice cream oh you won't mess it up try it one time right yeah just try it it'll be good but well i don't know how the best way to do it but i was gonna say grab the the one flavor you like the least and make it with that and that way if it doesn't turn out the way you like you're not really out anything right bridget's here hey bridget welcome I'll oh. have to catch the replay. Oh, yeah. Catch catch our shenanigans. Rhonda said, at one time, I didn't like pumpkin either. I love it now. Don't know what changed. They say taste buds change every seven years. That's oh. what I've heard. Is that they, every so, if you don't like something, wait a few years to try it again. Oh, okay. And that's what I keep telling you about coffee, but you just refuse. I've tried. <laughs> Uh, Shauna said, plus I'm short, so I don't need a huge RV. Well, I, you still need a huge RV because you got to store all of your stuff. Yeah. Lisa said, I did like Dunkin' Donuts coffee, but I'm an original East Coaster. But no Dunkin' Donuts by me anymore, so that's a good thing. Oh, wow. Yeah, when I, uh, one time, um. Uh, a long time ago, my big job, they sent me out to Connecticut, and the people there, like, they were just nuts so over Dunkin'. Like, like nobody, like, they were like Starbucks. Oh, like, they looked down at it. But they talked more about Dunkin' than I ever hear people talk about Starbucks. And it was just like Dunkin' all the time. Oh, we're going to get Dunkin'. Oh, have you got your Dunkin' yet? Oh, I'm running to Dunkin'. Oh, I've got a break. I can make it to Dunkin'. Like, they were nuts about it. I was wow. like, okay. what? And there was Dunkin's everywhere. And I, so I was like, okay, well, while in Rome. So I went to a Dunkin' and I was like, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> well, all right. I didn't even like their kolaches back then. No. Well, we're so picky on kolaches. 
Yeah. Uh, Shauna said, I don't want to be a cruise guinea pig. Exactly. That jumped on me. Well, during the first shutdown, they were actually uh, giving away free cruises if you were going to be a guinea pig. Right? C-T-R-S-I. Oh, welcome. I haven't seen your name before. Hi. Said, Thanks speaking of us. cruises, Ron DeSantis is suing the CDC sometime in June. Oh. Good luck with that. Yeah. Renee said, what? Shauna Short? I've never heard you say that. I would have never known. Shauna said, still only been on one cruise, and it stormed and stormed. Oh, that is hard. Ronna said, I think it's going to be vaccinated people only soon for cruising and flying. That's what I've read, that you're going to have to show proof of vaccination. Wow. Yeah. Shauna said, I'm not short. I'm a height conservationist. Right? <laughs> Jerry said, haven't watched two KK campers. Won't retire till I'm 80. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, I mean, if you enjoy your job, why not? Um, uh, uh, Lynette said, off for a walk with my friends. Thanks for the fun. Oh, you're Thank welcome. You enjoy in. your walk. See you next Good week. for you, getting it in. Shauna said, I slept well, but not many hours. Renee said, I woke at 6.05, alarm at 6.15. Oh, that sucks. That's torture. Yes, you're like, buddy, I needed 10 more minutes. Lisa said, I'm excited. Yay. Jim said, oh, heck, I get an average of four to five hours of sleep every night. Oh, oh goodness. Jim, you're working too hard. Yeah. Steph said, went to sleep at about 10 last night and slept until 7.30. That's awesome, Steph. You needed it. All right. Keep showing off. Well, she needs to heal up. Oh, that's true, too. You know, I'm that's sorry. your body saying, okay, good. I'm glad you're asleep Slow because down, this is when we're going to start healing everything. Ronnie said, say for me, I hate needing to go right before it's time to get up. Oh, just like the worst. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm mad at my body. I'm like, you couldn't hold it for one more hour. Caboodle Bry said, I'm the same way. Can't stand waking up less than an hour or more before my alarm goes off. Yes, it's just, just so aggravating. Uh, Shauna said, plastic bag. Uh -huh. uh, oh, Renee said, 20 folks here. Have y'all given a thumbs up? 22. Did you? Did you get him enough thumbs up? Of course I did. Lisa said, I don't need an alarm. I always wake up almost the same time every day, even on the weekends, no matter how hard I try to sleep in. You're not drinking enough. <laughs> wow. Wow. That I don't know people. You're like that. I, don't I know. know. He's always, like me, I've always been a sleeper. Like, even when I was little, like, my mom used to brag. She was like, oh, my gosh, I had the best kid. She actually sleeps all night. Even as a baby, I slept all night. Like, I love to sleep. And so, she never had, she, the only problem she had was getting me to go to sleep because I wanted to stay up late because I am a night owl. Yeah. But then once I'm asleep, like, torn. Uh, Dead to the world. Yeah, hurricanes have come through. Like, we've had some really bad hurricanes in the past. I've slept through them all. Like, the I, mom said on one of them, remember Hurricane Alicia? Yeah. Yeah, you know, we were a kid. She just picked me up out of bed and took me into the bathroom, and I slept through the whole thing. I didn't even wake up for it. Wow. <laughs> like, I was just gone. That's hard When I'm asleep, I'm out. Yeah. But just, you, like, when, when this is, like, it's funny. So, when I finally fall asleep, I'm out. So, are you one of those that, like, it takes you a while to actually fall asleep and then you're out? Or are you like Heath that before your head even hits the pillow, you're out? I told and, you, I've fallen asleep playing my guitar. I know, but it makes me, like, I get so jealous because you're like, like, last night you were like, well, I'm tired. And I'm like, really? I'm like, well, he's asleep already. He just said, I'm tired. Almost got it out. Almost got it out. Well, and you're asleep. It's time to go to bed. It's time to go to bed. I, 
<laughs> like your your mind is like uh, what is it like a uh, a a factory like oh it's shut down and it's like mm. boom <laughs> everything goes <laughs> <laughs> right. <sighs> Speaking of which, it's already nine o'clock. Oh wow, Shauna. Well, let me get caught up. This okay. Shauna said, "Shelly, look up scrap box." I said closet, but that's what I meant. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Oh, everybody giving us thumbs up. Thank y'all. And Caboodle Bry oh, uh, said, all my cruises were aboard an aircraft carrier. Ooh. Oh, wow. So I haven't been on a vacation-style cruise yet. Laugh out loud. Well, I think it might be a little different. <laughs> right? That uh, for you. Oh, uh, Steph said, I think the pain pills assistant. I'm sure. Renee said, nope, weekends I sleep late and even nap sometimes. I do so much during the week, I feel like I earned it. You did. That's true. Uh, Renee, you always earn it because you are a hard worker. Uh, Steph gave a thumbs up when she got here. Caboodle Bryce said, yeah, Karen and I also scuba dive. Oh, wow. So we talked for a while about going on a diving vacation. Wow. That would be so much fun. I've always wanted to scuba dive. I be, but I love the water. Like, I love going in the water and swimming. I would really enjoy that. But you, yeah. hold, you're like, no. No? Even if you got sick that way, you want to do it again. Yeah, I would definitely do it again in a heartbeat. No. I, I had so much fun because that was snorkeling. All not right. the same, but I had so much fun snorkeling. Like, I was out there, remember? They were the, trying to bring her back in. Yeah, they were like, come on, you gotta go. And then the boat, like, went far away. And I'm, like, swimming forever. I'm like, am I ever gonna get caught up there? (laughs) Remember? And you were like, I don't know where she's at. I was like, like, I straight up lost her. Right out there. Yeah, that was something. Uh, Rhonda said, takes me a long time. Yes, me too, Rhonda. And then annoying. I wish I'd go to sleep fast. Shauna said... You're doing the dishes tonight for well, that I comment. Shauna said, I pretty much fall asleep as soon as my head hits the pillow, but I don't watch TV or read or anything for my bed. Train my body that way. Aw, you're so good. You do what they say you're supposed to do, but, you know, I can't live my life like that. I can't uh, go to sleep without my phone. I know. Steph said, I usually have to read for a while to fall asleep. Jimmy doesn't even totally make it to the pillow before he's out. Mm-hmm. Gail said, I'm so jealous. I wish I could sleep. I have always suffered from insomnia. Oh, I'm sorry, Gail. Well, that's a I'll shame. I'll go to bed early, but I always end up getting up early, too. <sighs> All the time. Because, like, at the house, what I'll do is uh, the, uh, our bedroom's in the far back part of the house. I'll go sit in the living room with my headphones on so I don't wake her up while I watch my wrestling. He's so nice. Yeah, because he'll wake up at 6 in the morning. And get caught up. Caboodle Bry says, I'm like Heath. It's usually pretty fast unless I've been fasting. On a longer fast, I do have trouble sleeping. Oh, and I thought they usually said longer fasts make you fall asleep better. Huh. Hmm. Jim said, on my days off, I can't sleep late. My body feels it will be missing something. I guess it's crazy. Right? right. It's your body's FOMO. Uh, <laughs> Renee said, I think on the weekends my body is like, remember how you abused me during the week? <laughs> right? right? Steph said, I only go in water that I can see through. Well, I saw through that water. That's why you don't go in Galveston. Oh, yeah. Galveston. Oof. No. But I saw through that water. It yeah. Still, still didn't mean I saw through it. <sighs> there was something floating. Uh-huh. But I, I don't know. I've I don't think it was the water anyways. I think it's when we went up on the... the, the on I the think shore. it was the picnic. Was yeah, the picnic table. table. Yeah, because I was pretty yeah. pretty old. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I just love the water. Okay. I'll go through That's it. That's why I told you. We need to get you a pool in our backyard. Oh, get me a pool? Yeah, it's for You're you. You're the one that wants the pool. That'd be awesome. I can throw you in it. Uh, I'll throw you in it. Bring it. Oh, goodness. Uh, Renee said, same. 
I hate triathlons and lakes. Creeps me out because I can't see what's under me. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, you've kind of gone in some, like, water. Waters. I know. Like, I wouldn't do that, but... No, again, I'm not going to run either, though, so... <laughs> really? You're not? You mm-hmm. might. Who knows? In another year, you might be like Joe and Rachel and be doing no. CrossFit. No, I'm not going to lose my mind. <laughs> You might. You might be like, well, now I'm taking DDPY up another notch. Nope. Boy, his DDPY now, like that one you were doing the other night, I was like, geez, that's really getting up there. Like, you got to get down on your hands and knees and then jump up to your standing. And I was like, we need to record that so people can see. No. <laughs> he was like, no, don't record me yet. No. Uh, Shana, my shirts were all too big. Oh, whatever. Shauna said, every once in a blue moon, I'll lay in bed, and my brain is like, am I asleep? Nope. What about now? Nope. <laughs> right? That's what my brain says every night. It's like, no, we're, we're not ready to go to sleep yet. <sighs> uh, Sean, let's see. Stephanie said, laugh out loud. Right? If something is going to eat me, I want to see it coming. Then better chance to get away. Not. <laughs> Not necessarily, right. as I learned. Uh, Sometimes well, things... Well, you didn't see it. That's, That's what I mean. Yeah. You, you couldn't see it. And that right. was the clearest waters I've ever seen. Right? It was beautiful. Uh, Renee said, Dude at work is doing a seven-day oh, seven day fast and swears he doesn't need electrolyte. Wow. Well, good luck. Wow. Well, somebody's going to be crying halfway through it. Or Renee, quit. right? Renee said, "I've done the half Iron Man at Moody Gardens in the water. It's actually a little salt mix too, but yuck! Oh, that sounds awful. Yeah, I wouldn't would be wanting to go into Galveston. I never really cared for Galveston's water to begin with. I, I, people want to go there all the time. Why? I'm just gonna sit in the dirt. <laughs> well, one of my friends, they like to camp out there. Why? One, camping, no. Two, dirty, no. I know, on the sand, all weekend. No. I know, I'm just like, well, because to me, after I've been on the beach for a couple of hours, I'm ready to go take a shower. Yeah. But I I don't know, it's like all the sand, I just don't like that gritty feeling. I like the way it gets in your shoes and stuff. I know, I it's... don't like that either. Yeah, I got to go, like, wash it all out. Like I said, I'm, I'm outdoors and I like to hang out in patios. <laughs> yes, you are. Oh, Jerry said good night. Good, good night, night, Jerry. Thanks, thanks for, for coming. coming. Yeah, thanks for watching. We'll probably need to head out soon, too. Yeah. Renee said Lake Woodlands was the nastiest. I Probably. And then close second was in Austin under the Bat Bridge, right? Oh, wow. Uh, Shauna said, I can't do that yet. My wrist won't let me. Well, over time, remember, we've already done what you started, the 14 weeks, and we're halfway through the next section, and that's where this is going. Uh, Renee said, uh, oops, he started over three times already? Well, yeah, because he needs electrolytes. Duh. Steph said, oh, my God, Jimmy and Hillary arguing over who has the rougher job. Because uh, aren't they just arguing over who's going to put up with you? <laughs> Come on, that was funny. <laughs> that was funny. Sorry, Steph. <laughs> but, uh, you know what? They're both arguing over a four-letter word. All right. Uh, Renee said, Galveston's so dirty, but the bike course along the sea wall was nice. Okay. It is dirty, though. Unfortunately. Uh, wow, Renee said, still 21 crazy Hungry Horde fans here. Wow, y'all. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Steph said, I thought it was over, but Hill just needed a pee break. Oh, goodness. Speaking of. But uh, Shauna said, don't make me go. It's so quiet after a live here. Aw. Uh-huh. Renee said, Heath, time out. What did I do now? Made it fun of Stephanie. Why are you making fun of nobody? The Stephanie said, laugh my butt off. <laughs> Both of you need to hit the other one for me. No. Domestic violence is not fun. I know. I can't hit him. Finally. On camera. 
Not <laughs> premeditated. What? No. Oh, okay. Gail asked Shauna, do you live alone? Shauna said, what? Well, kind of. <laughs> My client lives here, but it's just me. So is your client, like, permanently left there and you only take care of her part of the time? Lisa said, well, guys, my iPad's about to die. Oh, no. So I'm going to call it a night. Nighty night, guys. Good Thanks, night. Shelly and Heath, for another awesome night and live. Thank you, Aww, Lisa. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Renee said, Shauna, I thought you were like a sitter at someone's home. Shauna said, she'll be in bed before I start work. Spend most of my time in my suite. Oh, she's a special needs caregiver. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's that's a tough job. I take care of my grandmother and my mother and stepdad for a while. Yeah, she had all three of them doing it once. Yeah, that was fun. Steph said, I hit Jimmy all the time. We know, Steph, but we're on camera. Uh, Kubo Bryce said, laugh out loud, on camera. The warden has spoken. Uh -huh. <laughs> all I have to do is give him a look. Uh -huh. Right? Uh, Renee it. said, so you live with her or she lives with you? I'm confused. And Shauna said, mentally ill, yes, 12 years, both, all the time when I'm off work, I close my door. Oh, so Shauna, like, is it, do you, like, share, uh, well, I shouldn't ask, but basically, do you share the, the place where you're living and then you only take care of her part of the time and somebody else takes care of her the other part. And so then are you there like in emergencies? Good night, Matreya. Good, Good night, Lisa. Good thank night. you for joining us yes, again. Yes, thank you. So much fun. Oh, Shauna said she's in a condo. Okay. Wow. So is this, can I be nosy, Shauna? Is it someone you know or did was this like an actual job where somebody was like, hey, you know, can you come and uh, we're looking for someone to do this? Because I know you said you were a nanny before. Because uh, like with mine, it was, well, they're family and they needed a caregiver. And so naturally it was like, oh, well, Shelly, you can do it. <laughs> uh, Shauna said, yes, I'm overnight six nights a week for the last 12 years. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's a long time. Do you enjoy it? I know. So, like, when I was uh, doing the caregiving, and then, uh, like, my for my grandmother, so I would be part of the time, then my mom would be, and then we also had somebody else, a nurse, like an actual uh, nurse and C, uh, CNA, helping the... Uh, like there was like a support for the CNA and they were telling us, look, as caregivers, you do need breaks because you, you know, it, it's so stressful. It's, you know, mentally and physically that you're gonna need to take vacations like if you were working a regular job. Like you can't expect that you're going to care for somebody every day non-stop, you know, basically without a break, that you're going to need times when you need to take a week away just for yourself. Right. Um, okay. Steph said, night ladies. Are you going night, Steph? Or just tell them good night. Shauna said, no, I started working for this company 12 years ago. It facilitates assisted living for special needs adults. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. And she's got one client... Um, so you don't have to drive to work. She's 24 hour supervision. So they could move others in there. Oh, wow. Yeah, so is it that they'll move somebody else in the condo with you? Or is it you're like assigned to her only? Sorry we're being so nosy. If we're asking too much and you don't want to share, just say, oh, that's enough. We're, we understand. We don't want to be all up in your business. Shauna said, when she's stable and doctors aren't messy with their meds, it's pretty chill. Yeah, that's what I've heard before, like with mental um, patients is sometimes eventually certain drugs will stop working and then you have to find a good mix of like their cocktail mix 
and that can be very stressful. I'm telling them good night. Okay, good stuff. You're not allowed to leave stuff. <laughs> Shauna said, but only one client per room. We're a three-bedroom condo. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Wow. That's so that's, that's interesting. Yeah. Well, uh, my grandfather, when he was uh, admitted to hospice, they actually have hospice homes. Like, you're in a subdivision, and you think it's just a regular home, but inside, they actually split up, so they... It's better for them to buy a home, like a regular house, and set it up there where they always have staff 24 hours than being at an actual facility. Because, like at facilities, it's a building, you got to run it. But at a house, then the patients feel like it's more of a home setting. Oh. And then you have, usually in most homes, the kitchen is central. So then that makes it easier for the staff to like cook for the Logistic different people. Clean. And then what they did is they turned all of the rooms into bedrooms. Like instead of having an office and different things, they were they were actual converted into bedrooms. Huh. And then uh, and then that way then the they would have a living room, which is where the staff could, you know, kind of relax a little bit. And then they would have the kitchen, and then that way, then, you know, when hospice, because, you know, I, I've i never, everyone I've ever known that went into hospice, three days max. Yeah. And so then, you know, you'll have family coming in, then it's kind of not as cold as going into, like, a facility or a hospital. Yeah, that's true. It's a home, so you feel like it's a little more inviting. And, like, with my grandfather... It really helped my grandmother because they were talking about keeping him at our house and it would have been really hard for her if he had passed away there because then she wouldn't have been able like she would have mentally not gotten over right. seeing him always dying there in that house right. so it was nice for her that it was at another house which i think maybe helped him you know not feel as you know, uh, discombobulated being somewhere else. And mm -hmm. then it was easier on the family kind of being in a home setting and it not being their personal home. Nice. But again, when he went, it, it wasn't even 24 hours. Wow. Yeah, it was really, it was sad. Uh, Shauna said, one Saturday night, my one night uh, off, she ran away Got about 20 miles away before the sheriff found her. That was a nightmare. It was not on my shift, thank God. Wow. So how did she... I'm going to be really nosy here. <laughs> since it obviously wasn't your shift. So how did she get out? What was the person doing? Were they... You know, did you just like take a nap? Or were you know... Just got away and they just didn't notice? Uh, Oh... Chef said, tell me again how you miss your keto chow for the ice cream. So all I did is I cooked a stick of butter in a uh, measuring cup. Do you mind bringing me the bowl thing? Mm -hmm. And then I uh, slowly mix in to the melted butter my keto chow packet. And then I slowly oh, whisk. Melting. Yeah. And then I slowly whisk in the... Um, um, Sorry, there you go. Then I slowly whisk, whisk in the uh, hot water or warm water. And then from there, then I uh, pour about half of it into the tub. And then after that, I uh, add a little more water, whisking it into the mix just so it gets well combined. And then pour the rest of that in here and it's like 20, 30 minutes max. So, see, and then now this has been sitting out, and it's like almost all melted in here. So, that's my after treat. Because mm -hmm. I don't mind it being a little melted for my uh, keto chow, because it's going to be good anyways. Mmm. Okay. Um. Uh, okay. 
Uh, so Shauna said she hitched a ride with a nice man who liked cats. Ooh, that's scary. Uh, she's 47. Uh, I remember you said she was young. Wow. Before I started with her, she had been an, in a locked facility. Oh, that's sad. Oh, the staff was in the bathroom. So, like, she was, uh... She was kind of, like, planning it, huh? Like, she was, like, waiting for her opportunity. Aw. Yeah, the harder times are when we are trying to creatively get her to do things good for her and her voice. The king tells her otherwise. Oh, man, that's sad. That's so sad. Do they... I'm just curious, you know, because of... I've heard different things on keto and a lot of people who have like depression and you know like they're saying Alzheimer's and stuff that be keto helps. Do they address diet at all? Do you have any say so? Do you think that would help any? Or at this point she's just that there's nothing that's going to help with that. Her reply becomes, well the king says, oh wow, what's sad. Uh, Renee said, that's tough, but glad she has such a kind-hearted person. That's true. Right. Shawnee said, oh, she said the cops only found her because she had to pee in a ditch, and they caught up with her. To this day, she has no idea we legally had her phone pinged by the sheriff's office. Wow. Wow. She said, schizophrenia is horrible. I yeah. Bet. Yeah, I've heard. Ooh, because, uh... We can't legally make her do anything. We can only suggest or try to creatively manipulate the situation. Mm -hmm. Right, to kind of make her like think she's going, she wants to do it, right? Wow. Yeah, maybe I let this sit a little too long. Just drink it. I'm not gonna drink it like that. Wow. Ah, uh, Deb said, "Thanks for sharing your great cooking and company. Have a great weekend, everyone. Good night. Right, Good night, nice. Deb. Thanks, Thanks for, for joining. In. See you next week." And Sean said, "But at the same time, it's our fault if something goes wrong." Well, of course. Well, yeah. That, yeah. You always gonna get blamed. Mm. Yeah, uh, Renee said, I've worked with lots of various issues with patients, and many wear an ankle monitor in case of escape. Really? That's, that's wild. Yeah, what's that? What you're drinking? Iced tea. How do you make it? I uh, buy the unsweetened Gold Peak, and I just brew it just to just regular iced tea, and then I just add a little. Stevia to it. Liquid stevia to sweeten it. As he has to have sweetened tea. Yeah, because if it's not sweetened, it's just dirty water. No, it's just tea. No. Mm -hmm. But, uh, so he, why did you buy that bottle? Because it's easier to mix it up and take it back and forth to the house. So I tried doing it in, like a, in my, uh, my um, gallon jug and I ended up spilling it. But this has a screw on lid. And I'll put a bunch of ice in here first. Then I'll pour the tea over the top of it. Add the uh, liquid stevia. Shake the tar out of it. So I'm getting it all mixed up. And then whenever the bubbles go down, I'll just fill it up the rest of the way with water. Shake that a little bit. And then I'm good. Yeah. And then I always like my iced tea to at least sit overnight. I want it, I want it a day old. Yeah, to let it mellow or meld. Mm-hmm. Marry each other. I never drink it because... Uh, it's too sweet for her. Yeah. Which is fine because I get all the tea, she gets all the coffee. I think that's a fair trade. It's like a his and hers. Right? It really is. Like you're British and I'm American? No. Because you're drinking tea? No. Because I don't drink it hot. We won a war over that. We don't have to <laughs> drink that anymore. You don't have to drink it hot, you mean? Yeah. Uh... Shauna said, for a few years after her escape, we had alarms on all our outer doors. Wow. Right? Well, 
um, with my grandpa, when he had Alzheimer's, he would forget, you know, where he was at. And one day, he just decided to, that he was like, he kept thinking that he wasn't at a house. He thought it was like a restaurant half oh, the wow. time. Because so then when Ma would serve him breakfast or, you know, a meal, he would try to tip her. Yeah, I would have took it. I know, right? It's so cute. And he'd try to give a tip and say, oh, that's really good, thanks. And then one day he got out and he was trying to find his house. But what was funny, well, I guess not funny, but so... Him and my grandma, it was both their second marriage. Oh, he's looking for the first. He's looking for the house before theirs. Oh, no. And he was like, no, I live at such and such. And yeah. That's rough. Yeah. Well, my grandmother, she had had an aneurysm. And she had, I don't know if it's schizophrenia or whatever, but she had some issues. And she wasn't always in her right mind. And they were scared she was going to burn the house down. So they had to actually take the knob. This was mums. Oh, yeah. And they actually, because she lived with Vicky and Bobby. Right. And they actually took the knobs off of all, the, like on the stove. Oh, wow. They unplugged the microwave so that she Aww. could reach up there and put it back together and everything. Oh. They had to go in and cook for her, you know, obviously, but they didn't want her getting up making stuff. While in the they middle were, of the night. Yeah, because yeah. they say a lot of times with Alzheimer's is their night to day. Maybe that's what mixed. she has then, yeah. Because that's what, like, Grandpa would want to be up at 2 in the morning. And it's like, no, this is time to go to sleep. And he was like, no, I'm ready to go. Oh, no. Yeah. They're on a different program. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Shauna said, um, oh, she said, we can't walk her in, and I won't chase her if she does run. Follow and call 911. That's it, right? Yeah, that makes sense. And she said, Heath, if you don't put tar... In it, you don't have to shake it out. What? Laugh out loud. I don't understand. Mm-hmm. Your phone's breaking up. Tar in it. You don't have, I guess you said it. I took the tar out. Whatever. I just mix it. I Instead of stirring it like you do in a jug, I just put the lid on it and shake it. He likes to shake things. Yeah, I guess. Uh, Gail said, is that the kind of ice cream bowl you have to freeze before you use it? Yes. Yes. It is. And here, we'll wash it out here in a minute and put it back in the freezer. Yeah, so and I always store it in the freezer upside down because I wash it uh, just in the sink. You know, I don't have to, like... Sanitize it. Uh, yeah, I don't put it through the dishwasher. I just wash it with hot water, and then I store it upside down. So then that way, if there's any... You know how there's usually a few little drops? Then that way, the water will drip out of it and not be clumped up in it. And then, I mean, honestly, this is the best. And what he was talking about earlier... So, Dash makes an ice cream maker. It's like a mini one. I was like, oh, that would be perfect. So, that we could just, you know, make a pint of ice cream. Well, I don't know if I just got a defective one or what. But it was like, so you were supposed to put the ice cream in, right? In the little cup. It was just a little cylinder. And then you were supposed to put the lid that spun it. And hook it to the paddle, but the paddle never actually clicked into it the top. Engage. Yeah, it would never engage. It was like it just sat in there. Like if this was the hole for it, it would just go like this. So then when you turned it on, the paddle would be like this, and then the whole thing would rock and fall over. So then I was like, okay. And I kept trying to mess with it, and it just, I couldn't get it to do right. Did you get so, a refund on it? Yeah, so finally I contacted them and I said, I think that there's a part missing or something broke in and uh, was missing, you know, like broke off the power or something. It never clicks into place and it's just not working. And all they replied with was, okay, return it to us. So they didn't even tell me if something was missing. So I just returned it and I said, well, I'm not going to buy that again. So it's, how do I know it's not the same thing? And some of the reviews actually said, the, the same thing happened to them. As soon as they would turn it off, it would spin off. So then I did more research this time. I was like, okay, we tend to like ice cream. And then I found the Cuisinart, right? Cuisinart? I don't know. I always call it Cuisinart. But I found this one. It had really good reviews. It's like the same one that Nisha Berry was using for a while. So I was like, okay, I'll buy it. And I got it on sale for, I think, 60 or something. I don't remember. Uh, I've had it in a while. So I got it, and I've been really happy with it. It's 
the perfect size for me and you. Yeah. I mean, it makes, you know, two bowls, and that's a plenty for us. I don't want to make more than that because I've noticed when we've tried to, like, store it, it's just not as good the next day. And then, look, I mean, it is a little awkward, like, when my parents came over, my mom and stepdad, for us splitting that into four people. It was yeah. a little skimpish. Yeah. But... That's fine. Shara said, Heath, I prefer to shake my iced tea, too. I make it in my big 2KK blender bottle. Okay. We do our... Uh, our ultimate. Yeah, our ultimate. Zip when I used to drink Zip Fizz, I'd make it in that, too. Uh, Shara said, don't be fooled by the dash. They don't work. Well, I learned that. That's, you know, because everybody goes crazy over... Uh, the dash waffle maker and we just been using our old belgian waffle maker yeah because i'm like well why am i gonna buy another waffle maker when i have one it's just not the cute little ones right uh oh round are round ours are square yeah that's different but... or the cute shapes because i think uh Stephanie has one that does the cute little shapes oh, yeah. and stuff. Because you wanted the Star Wars one, didn't you? Where it well, yeah. The Millennium Falcon. Oh, CC Mama's here. Hey. hey. Welcome. Uh, Rhonda said, no, you didn't. I bought the Dash Ice Cream Maker, too. Didn't work. Oh, see? So it wasn't you. It was them. That's it. Why would you even sell a product like that? Like it, like how Some did, people won't complain. They'll just live with it. But how did that get off of... The manufacturer, the, the line? Yeah, with them uh -huh. knowing that it wasn't going to work. Like, why would you even sell a product like that? I don't know. Because some people, are, I mean, some companies are just, don't, they're just not good. Oh, China said, mine didn't either. Like, trying to make ice cream with the feather. Yes. Yes, and that paddle, it was real thin and flimsy. Damien. <laughs> Shauna said, Dash needs to stick to waffle makers or grills or butt makers, right? Steph said, we got a Cuisinart with the short sides on the lids, and it kept popping the lid off. And if I tried to hold down, the whole machine would turn. And finally, the plastic turner broke all up. Oh, goodness. Is that not what ours is? The Cuisinart? Yeah. Huh. But she said one with the short sides. Huh. I don't know, is yours the one where you have to put the salt and all in it? The salt and ice? Oh. I wanted it all in one. I didn't want to have to do oh. all the... A long time ago, I bought an ice cream maker, you know, the old style oh, where it's yeah. this big thing, and you had to buy special salt and ice, and I, I was yeah. like, I ain't going to go through all that, because then I, I just wouldn't make it. I'd be right. like, oh, forget that. Well, I mean, that's uh, who also makes our air fryer, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like the Cuisinart yeah. brand. I've been impressed. Them and KitchenAid yes. are probably my favorite. Yeah. And then for, like, appliances, I like Samsung. Yeah. Um, let's see. Shauna said, two years ago, I was not doing keto, but was looking for a thin waffle maker for a crispy waffle. Found a dash for $6.99 at Home Goods. About a month later, I started hearing about chaffles. Right? That was about two years ago. Yeah. The chaffle craze went out. Uh, everybody saying hi, CC Mama. Oh, she's off tomorrow, but back on Sunday. Oh. Uh, Steph said... Yeah, y'all had the long-sided lid. Ours was gray and square with a short side. Oh. Okay. Wow. Uh, we haven't said, had any problems with this one. Have we? No. I mean, everything's been great with it. Yeah. She said, Mama got us the double one that takes ice. Oh, that's well, nice. While we're thinking, I'm going to go do this. She was asking about how I make my tea. I'm going to show her. Oh, Okay. Renee said, well, enjoy your Saturday, sweet CC Mama. Yeah. Any plans tomorrow or just rest and relaxation? That's my plan all the time. So I bought this on one of our road oh, yeah. trips. For in, one of our road trips. Yeah, for one of our Because it's a collapsible teapot. If I get it to do it. Well, now it won't because you're on camera. Right? And then you, you can just pack it away. And it's made by uh, Gourmia. Oh, that's when we had the air fryer with the first time. Yeah. But it works great. In fact, when it's actually done brewing the tea, it actually turns itself off. It's like it has it on a timer. Wow. The, the light goes out and everything. 
But that was like when we did a long road trip when we were completing our 50 by 50. Yeah. He got that for it because he was like, because we were staying at various hotels and Airbnbs. We wouldn't always have any type of kitchen. So he's like, well, this way he can make his tea and not have to rely on that. He just needed water for it. Right. And it's handy, too, because even at the house, I still use it instead of boiling the, uh, a pot of t on, the, uh, on the stove. Because I don't have to worry about the water boiling over. You know, if I come back in uh, and just the right time to put the tea bag in there, I just put the tea bag in, fill it with water, turn it on, and I'm done. Nice. It works. It's really handy. Nice. Caboodle Bry said, okay, feeling a bit drowsy. Thank you for the spot of sunshine. Uh -huh. Aw. Y'all have a blessed evening and weekend. Well, you too, Brian. Thanks for joining us. Have yeah, a great one. Thank you one. for tuning in. See you next week. CC Baba said, yes, sleep it in. I'm with you, girl. Uh, Renee said, grocery shopping. Not sure if I should drive to the big city to go to an H-E-B Plus. Um, yeah. Just don't offer them plastic bags and you should be fine. Well, if you're going to drive to the big city, why don't you just drive to the big city of Houston? Right? Just saying. Uh, Bridget said, good night. Good night, Bridget. Thanks for And you can have a us. nacho nacho burger tomorrow. <laughs> right? That'd be fun. Uh, Shauna said, I need one of those for when I retire in my RV. Yes, you do. Uh -huh. Shauna said, I have a stainless steel 32-ounce hot water pot. Oh. Wow. Almost like a Berkey. Renee said, my ex used to use the coffee maker to brew his tea. Yeah, I did too. Uh, Made me good. mad because it oh, contaminated I did, yeah. it. I had one just, just for me, though. Yeah, can you heat me some water up? I don't want sure. a cup of coffee. I know. Where's the thing? Where's the... It's probably in the sink. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Uh, I would be mad too, Renee, because the tea, you know, tea stains like everything. Because yes. he has his jug that he used. And um, what else is it? You're always putting your tea in, and it's always got stains all that over it. That mug right there in front of you, yeah. Oh, yeah, his water, bu uh, water burner mug. It's like, ugh. I'd be so, ugh. I don't like it. Um, Ron said, wish we had an H-E-B. I know. H-E-B needs to be all over, right? I bet they wished it, too. All right. They're still only in Texas, though, aren't they? I think so. What are you doing? I figured out that when I'm pouring your tea, remember, I mean your uh, coffee. coffee, I always spill a little bit. So why don't I go ahead and have this to collect it? Okay. You can put that other in the sink, too. What? The, this? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Shauna said, I'll tell y'all about my crazy life. Right? Uh, Renee said, ha, ha, ha. I guess we should call it a night. I was going to show them how you make oh. your tea or your coffee. My coffee? Oh, okay. I didn't know you were going to do all that. Or you all want to see how I make coffee? My pour over? Here. And fill you that notice, up. Fill that up and I'll bring your water. My coffee. This I do my pour, pour over. So I get it. This is one of those like uh, reusable filters, but come on. You know it's not that good. Oh, that's what they're I thought all these were at the house. And then I just get a little cheap filter. Like, I've had these filters forever because I think I got it from Sam's or Costco. There's like a million of them in a stack. And then I have my, I think this is my Bones coffee or it might be that other brand. You want me to grab them? Yeah, I think it's behind the, um, no, not that one. It, Oh, yeah, the Voodoo Brew, the red one there, I think. No? Or it might be behind the air fryer. Is there a bag behind the air fryer? No. Oh, then it is that one. It's the Voodoo Brew in your hand. Well, this says butterscotch. I know, that is good. So, this brand, I got, I don't, you know how Tell Facebook me, you good or bad? advertises everything, right? Is that good? Am I in the shot? I don't know yet. I'm still waiting for it to catch up. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, the, it, the light's like bouncing off. Get it closer. Oh, I think you got it. All right. So, uh, that's good. So, what I do is just two of these little scoops. 
I'm pouring in there because we're traveling right now. Almost done. Yeah. There's my little pour over. Uh, let's see. Renee said, well, Bucky's did venture to one right outside Pensacola. Oh, wow. wow. I didn't know they went that far. Ronnie said, what are you waiting for, CC Mama? Shana said, Shelly, is that Bones coffee good? I like it. Um, I, I mean, okay, I've tried most of the flavors. Some, personally, are better than others. My favorite is still the Salty Siren, ranked number one for me, but I've always been a salted caramel fan. Um, and then the... After that, uh, the red velvet's pretty good. I haven't tried the carrot cake. Um, I was trying to think what was the other one. Oh, I do like the, they had the seasonal peppermint one and another one that was pretty good. But this is Expedition Roasters. Um, they're a little different flavors. I mean, Here, they're. Hold on. Oops. You're about to spill. I know. Know your answer? Well, let you do it. Because no. I always mess it up. But uh, this one's Expedition Are you not, though? Roasters. Yeah, you're I am. Oh, you're perfect. Uh, Expedition Roasters, anyways. They have different flavors. Like, they have a butterscotch one. I did find the butterscotch a little deeper than the one at Bones. But, what? We made deviled eggs to have with dinner tonight. We didn't even pull them out. They're sitting right there in the fridge. Anyways, and I'm too full. Uh, the the uh, the butterscotch is a little stronger, but it's a stronger coffee. Like Bones is a true medium roast, so they just came out. I saw today with their first ever dark roast called uh, it's a dark chocolate roast. Sounds really good. I'm very tempted, but I've got so much coffee. <laughs> But uh, I do like my bones for for a hint of flavor. Shauna said, I just got two new flavors of my Boca Java. They roast it right before they ship it to me. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Renee said, salty siren and maple bacon. Yeah, that's, that maple bacon's good too. Um, but the uh, there was another one that also roast right away when they through it. I'm trying to think it was an Austin company. That was pretty good. But the Expedition Roasters, they say that theirs is also roasted fresh before they send it. So I just kind of like pour it in here just a little bit and you're supposed to let it bloom for two or three minutes. So that's what it's doing. Well, do you want your little guy here or do you want an actual mug? No, I want my mug. This? No, right there, baby, in front of that. Oh, duh. Wrong with me. Uh, oh, CC Mama said, I'm such a Kroger girl. I don't think about it till we mention it in our group, right? I do like Kroger, though. Depends on what we need. Shai said, Boca Java Surfing Safari Vanilla Cream Caramel and Coffee Liquor. Wow, that's a mouthful. <laughs> uh, snacks for midnight, <laughs> right? Shai said, and Boca Java High Tide Hazelnut. That sounds good. Is it a medium roast or a dark roast? What kind is that? Gail said, there's always tomorrow for the deviled eggs. Very true. You see, it was real handy because on the little breakfast buffet, they have boiled eggs already in a little cup. They put them in a th th twin pack or whatever, you know, there's two in a cup. So I just took them to the house, cut them in half, filled them up, and brought it back here, and we forgot about them. Oh, yeah. Shada said, oh, Bones Dark Chocolate Roast. I know, doesn't it sound good? And I think they called it, it's like Jack Sparrow. I don't know, huh. something fake. You know how they have cutesy names. Uh, Cece Baba said, Heath is upset about those deviled eggs. Well, that was just laughing a, at you. It's just uh, annoying that we for, to, totally forgot about them. But I guess that's how good the ribs were. Right? That we didn't need a side for it. Probably not. Shauna said, I can barely wait for my coffee pot to finish. I know. Because we were even thinking about making chocolate fries to go with them. Or I knew that wasn't going to happen. <laughs> Renee said, what are everyone's favorite flavor coffee? Not brand, but flavor. Yeah, what is Not your favorite? 
Yes, we know. She's talking about Team Coffee. Yeah. Um, my favorite flavor is honestly a Texas pecan. A good Texas pecan. Oh my gosh. So at the Central Market, they have like all these nice coffees that you can buy, you know, by the pound. And I got the Central Market brand Texas pecan. Wow. That is taste amazing it was so good you could really taste the pecan flavor and of course it has texas so it's really good i just i that's probably still my favorite and then salty um somebody said something okay uh gail said you you were so full before you you got here you could barely finish dinner before cc mama got here she was like you were so full you could barely finish your dinner and then you're crying about the double days no it's just not i'm not hungry that's why i'm not eating them now it's just kind of annoying that i made them for no reason it seems like oh steph said she posted pictures of the new toy on 2kk for only five dollars wow wow they charge you five dollars to post it <laughs> maybe <laughs> To get it red, she had to pay $5. Shauna said, mine is Boca Java Chocolate Cherry wow. Celebration. Wow, that's a mouthful. Wow. So does it really taste like a chocolate cherry? So then, all I do is slowly pull in the rest. And just let it slowly Percolate. go percolating through. And it turns out pretty good. Um, Not great, but pretty good. Well, yeah. What would make it great is if I had some butter in my cup. Uh, All right. Renee said, oh, yeah. And Rhonda said, hazelnut or vanilla bean? Oh, yeah. Vanilla bean can be really good. Uh, Cece Mama said, oh, Texas pecan sounds delicious. This one? No. Just the cheap, yeah, that's fine. But then I, I, I had a knife over there too. Yeah, I got put in the dishwasher. Oh. Uh, yeah, well, Cece Mama, you could probably buy me good Texas uh, pecan, probably at Kroger, I'm sure. Uh, Shauna said, oh. Shauna said what? <laughs> that you shouldn't be slamming knives in your wife's hand. Why? That's how you know you have it. Anyhow, so I'm going to add, I'm going to make this a rich coffee. Oh, wow, that's heavy. Oh, yeah. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of butter. I've got pretty good at measuring my butter out. All right. And this is, this butter, it was on sale, extra creamy, unsalted, plugra. Plugra? Yeah. How would you say that? Plugra? Plugra? I would. But. Yeah. It says real milk from American Dairy Farms. It's pretty good. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. Oh, you want the knife too? Sure. Do you need it again? No. I use my frother though. Ah, oh, bless her. <laughs> said, I got... I get it on subscription. It smells like heaven when you open it. I love the smells of coffee. Steph said, woohoo, yes, yeah, Shelly. Texas pecan is the best. Very true. I know what I'm having. What? Uh-oh. Uh, and Gail said, he, it's called meal prep. No worries. I'll have my salted caramel. Uh, Shauna said, yes, it's so smooth. And we don't get a lot of good pecan flavored stuff out here in Cali. Probably not. Is this uh, the one that was at the house and it got yes. frozen or whatever? No, it melted. melted. Uh, Cece Mama said, he, you're looking really slim. Yeah? I'm saying. I don't feel like it though. Well, you sure can you tell. Like sometimes when he's walking around, I'm like, who's that? Really? Yes. I'm like. <sighs> Oh my gosh, you're destroying that. I uh, know. I'm like, oh my goodness. Like, I just... For whatever reason, we put these in the pantry instead of the refrigerator. They came melted because you ordered them. Oh, that's right. Yes. 
Oh, Renee says, I like a good amaretto flavor, too. Yes, that amaretto. Isn't that a liquor? Yeah. Amaretto used to be actually my favorite liquor. I would get the um, whiskey sours. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was my jam back in the day when I would drink. I loved a really good whiskey sour. And, oh, amaretto. Mm. Steph said, H-E-B has Texas pecan. Yes, they do. And it is good. The Central Market one's good. It's probably the same thing. Just yeah, a different they package. Put, yeah, a little higher price point. <laughs> CC Baba said, you all are coffee connoisseurs. Drug addicts. <laughs> Whatever. Just my my uh, chemical dependence here. Uh-huh. And Renee said, I'm a self-admitted coffee snob. Right? Oh, who? Amy's here. Hey, Amy. Welcome. She said, what's y'all's favorite lily? What's on sale? <laughs> right. I haven't tried one yet that I didn't like. Yeah, I'm not, I don't really eat them. Um, it's mostly for him. And you have to say salted caramel because you ordered a 12 pack of that. Well, I guess so. That was, that's that was the picked. flavor you wanted. That's the one I clicked on. No, that was the one you wanted. That, those ones we got at Christmas, though. Oh, yeah. Those At the really Sprouts, good. they had gingerbread. Yeah. Uh, it, the white peppermint. That was really good. That was addictive, though. So I was like, ooh, we can't have that in the house. Take and, this away from me. And then a dark chocolate mocha or something like that. I think. That was our That one wasn't favorite. that great. Yeah. But, ah. yeah. Um, okay, Shia said, Heath, you need to see some good side-by-side comparison pics. Okay. Yes. Oh, uh, Renee told Cece Mama, Shelly's lost 34 inches. Right? I know, I did. Renee said, I've never had it as a liquor. Really? Wow. I don't remember having it as a liquor either. Amaretto? No, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, I did. I actually had a bottle of it. I was more of a bourbon whiskey person. Yeah. Yeah, Amaretto was sweet, so that's kind of why I had it. Or like, rum. I like rum, too. Yeah, that's the sweet liquor. But that's why I had like, a whole bottle of it. And it was a pretty... I think it was De Serrano. Yeah. Isn't that the brand? Yeah, it was almost like a square bottle with a little painted lid. Yeah, I liked it. Because I fall for, you know... Like, I'm a person, I'm a sucker. I fall for all the pretty looks. And so, uh, if the bottle looked all fancy, that was the one I wanted. Not the cheap little plastic one. Uh, let's see... Shauna said, my friend took a pic of me yesterday and I was shocked. I actually liked it. Was it the one you shared? Because you looked really good. She, uh, Shauna said, I'll pay someone to send me some Texas pecan coffee beans. We'll bring it at Keto Palooza. Uh-huh. Shauna said, I love the dark chocolate salted caramel lilies. Isn't that what that is? Or is it the milk chocolate? Malt, uh, uh, salted caramel milk chocolate style. Oh, the milk. Okay. It's so good, though. Cece Mama says she loves the Lily salted caramel, too. And Shana said they have a white chocolate birthday cake that has sugar-free sprinkles in it, and it's crunchy. Yeah, I've seen that one, too, but I think the sprinkles have, like, rice flour. Oh, okay. Something in it, and I was like, I don't, I don't want to take a chance. Didn't they also make one that's kind of like the uh, Reese's, kind of like? Or uh, they're a little, bit, little bitty guys where we put them in the freezer? Didn't we, they, wasn't it them that made them? No. Uh, yeah, yeah, they did make some that looked like, yeah, that's right. Because like pre-keto is one of my favorite things to do is buy the Reese's peanut butter cups, but keep them in the freezer and then eat them frozen. Yeah. Season always said, Shelly, where can I find the Texas pecan coffee? I usually get it at H-E-B. You know what we're going to have but, to do, right? Huh? Have to open up a side market. We'll just go to H-E-B and buy a whole bunch and then send it to people. <laughs> we'll resell it. So I just used my little frother guy. And what I like about this brand, I think it's... Where is it? Uh-huh. Like, it's Zula, Zula. Zule. So I'm really impressed with them as far as customer service. The first one I got... Oh, that's right. Uh, remember, it was like a hot pink one? Yeah. About three months in, it started going out. I thought, oh, it just needs batteries, right? So I changed the batteries out, and it's still, like, 
it would work like this, but then when I put it in liquid, it would be all and not working. It made that noise? Yeah, it did. It went And so I emailed them and I said, hey, I think there's something wrong because they, they say that they have good customer service. So I emailed them and they said, oh, we'll send you another one for free to replace it. So they sent it for free. Well, with that one came a new warranty on the, you know, if you buy another one. So I was like, wow. And then I ended up, somehow I ended up with two for free. Remember they sent me one and then they included another one in yeah. with the package? Okay. But it was a real skinny box. And I was like, well, I'll just keep them. I'll use them eventually. Um, okay. Sorry, I got behind there. Rambling, right? Uh, oh, Gail says, I have not seen the newest Lily flavor bars in stores. Oh, what's the newest Lily uh, Lily's flavor? Uh, what? Where does it go? Oh, okay. Then I read that. Yes. Okay. Woohoo. Yet in stores. Okay. Shauna said, I like my chocolate like my coffee. Dark roast. Okay. All right. Yeah, I, I like dark chocolate too. There's a brand... Oh, I think it's at Trader Joe's. Have you seen the dark chocolate hundred percent? There's no sweetener at all. Was well, that the one we have at the house? Isn't it in the black box? I think it's called like Midnight or Zero Black, something like that. But it's a hundred percent unsweetened chocolate. There's no sweeteners at all, and it's a hundred percent dark. It's really good. I think we have two of them left. Yeah, but uh, if I have that, like if I'm really getting a craving, then I'll just have just a square of it, and that's enough for me. It, like, gives the, the flavor of chocolate, but no sweeteners. Huh. Shauna said, we have a couple of stores that carried them yesterday. They were two for six. Well, that's not too expensive. You know what she we goes, usually get for it at Express? Oh, Shauna's got a purple one. Yeah. yeah. Susie Mama, have, she has one in green. Oh, look at that. We have the colors of the rainbow. Huh. Amy says, yes, love the dark chocolate, too, and dark roast coffee. Uh, Shauna said she just snorted and laughed. <laughs> nice. Gail said, one is birthday cake and I forgot the other flavor. Yeah, we saw it at Sprouts. Remember, I saw the birthday cake. Was it cookies and cream or something? No, because we would have bought that. No, we didn't because there's something in it. We would have, I said. But we didn't. Mm -hmm. I, don't think, I don't know that. Because it has some kind of wonky ingredient that I was like, no, you don't need that. Because his thing is... He's like, oh, I'm just going to have a bite, but then the whole bar's gone. Yeah, over a week. No. No. What's so, wrong with my knee? I don't know. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah, probably because you didn't do DDPY today. No, because it's a day off. It's scheduled. Um, let's see. Are you serious? It's almost 10 o'clock. How? Oh, my gosh. We need to get off. Steph said, look at that chocolate when you go to the house next and let me know the name of it. Okay. All right. I, I think it's like midnight. Something no, like that. No, I just said it's almost 10. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Shauna said, some of the Lily's ingredients are sketchy. I know. That's what. And I really don't. Like, there's one on here. I, I think I'm just overly cautious, y'all. No. I'm just... It's Two. good that she is because it was that one company they I think booby trapped me basically sent me off into my the, the last flare up. Renee wants to know if your therapist knows about your knee. No. Uh, well, I've told that one therapist that's in Rockport, but that's the only therapist I have. Okay, this is what's questionable to me. It's unsweetened cocoa. Okay, that's fine. Cocoa butter. That's fine. Erythritol. Eh. Um, that's fine. And then inulin. Well, I don't even know what that is. It's a type of sugar. Oh, everything's um, a sugar to you. And dextrin. That's where I'm like, oh, goodness. Inulin and dextrin. And it's pretty high on the list. Um, and then whole milk powder, um, natural flavor, sea salt, soy lecithin, sunflower lecithin, and stevia and vanilla. It's just, that's what always concerns me. When I see inulin and dextrin, I'm just like, well, I don't know. I had that all nice and neat. Whatever. Oh. It's nice and neat. So that's why I'm like, well. So every once in a while, I'll have a little bit of it, but it's, it's so sweet. It is. 
It and reminds me of a regular candy bar. I know. And I think it's because of the inland and dexter. But maybe I'm wrong. Well, there's also me. those other bars. Remember yeah. Remember they given them away? Or they, yeah, because they gave us a full refund. Yeah. Line. But that's why, I mean, maybe I'm totally off. Maybe I'm being overly cautious. If I am, tell me, leave a comment, say, you know what, you're ridiculous for worrying about inland and dextrin. Um, maybe I'm just hyper-focused on things. I think it's because we're both diabetics in remission, you know, no longer a diabetic. So when I think of anything that's sweet or sweet tasting, I'm just always hesitant because I'm like, right. that makes sense. Because I was like really hesitant of allulose for the longest because I'm like, gosh, that I just don't know. It tastes so real. Because one time I got that frosting, and it was made with allulose, and I said, this tastes like, like real frosting that I used to buy in a jar. All right. You know, and I was like, I, I just don't know. So I I I'm just the type that's like, well, I don't need it. I I honestly I don't need it. It's just purely for pleasure. Yeah. Well, I'll get pleasure from a state too. <laughs> okay, I read that. Oh, Shauna said I like to dip my dark chocolate salted caramels lit at lilies into natural unsweetened peanut butter. Well, yeah. Well, that sounds amazing, but I can't have peanut butter anymore. I know. It's kind of sad. Because right. I used to love peanut butter. Steph said, yep, all y'all going on four hours. Oh, my gosh. She said, congrats tonight. Well, we need to shut this down. Nobody's going to watch four hours. They are watching it. What are you talking about? Well, yeah, this is our, our faithful dozen. This The, the horde. The hungry horde. Uh, yeah, Steph doesn't have Trader Joe's up there. Amy right. said, sounds like I need to check out this one called Midnight. Yeah, it's at uh, Trader Joe's. Uh, Gail says inulin is a fiber. Okay, it's a fiber. Hmm. Shauna said that's why I like the dark chocolate ones, not as sweet. Yes. That's why I don't like them though. <laughs> Renee said, "Well, you're ridiculous, but for other reasons." Oh, wait, wait, what? How ridiculous! What does she run her mouth about now? Not ridiculous. And then Shauna she, she said, "She talks real tough on the internet." Chada said, I'm not allowed to get those high-key salted caramel almond things anymore and open boxes and empty box, right? Yeah. We need to have a Hungry Horde Zoom party. That would be fun. Oh, okay. Shauna said, we're still here. And Cece Baba said, yep, we're here, Hungry Heath. <laughs> thank you all. Aw, thank you, guys. And Steph said, remember, I go by total carbs, so tell me the carb count first, right? I know. It's like nine, I think, or something per serving. 17. Mm. Seriously. Wow. Seriously. For how much, though? Is it a third of the bar or something? I think. But what are these other numbers beside it? What is that broken down for? Okay, so one column is per serving, and the other is per bar. So if oh, okay. you ate this whole bar, that's 46 cards. Oops. I didn't eat the whole thing tonight, but no. I have done it. 17 per serving, which there's about three ser or two and a half servings per bar. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Can you imagine 46? It's so funny because when uh, I hear people and they're like, oh, I just had like you know, a donor or whatever, it was like 40 carbs. That's good. And I'm like, 40 carbs? Jeez, I, can't, I barely get 40 carbs in a week. Right? <laughs> and Renee said, because I said, I thought I'm being ridiculous. I know, I know. Ronnie said, Charlotte, did you see that video of loving it on keto made with the bacon, peanut butter, and chocolate? Oh, no, we didn't see that. Yeah, Amy said, oh, my, 17. Yeah, I'm only allowed 15 total carbs a day, right? Well, I didn't eat the whole thing. Well, no. Well, and it is for two and a half, so it's it's a pretty big chunk, but still 17 total carbs. I My total carbs uh, is like stays less than 11. Most days, it's like five. But if I have, like, today I had keto chow, so that bumped it up higher. Uh, Shauna said she keeps her lilies in the freezer. 
Oh, you could do idea. that, yeah. CC well, Bomb- that's where we messed up, though, was I ordered a case of these online. Yes. CC Baba said, but Shelly and Heath, you guys don't count macros, do you? I don't. Yeah, he doesn't count anything. Me, I've been doing a cut, so I got a coach back in January. And so I have been, like, I have my app, and I have to keep, like, track of my macros, and I have to stay within three grams of whatever my macro is. Like, for example, if my fat is 120, I can't go more than a, a or I, I have to stay between 117 and 123, right? Either three plus or minus, or I'm considered, you know, not meeting my macro if I don't. So, like, there's days where I'm like, oh, no, and I have to get just a little bit of, like, a half a, a pat of butter to get my fat where it needs to be. So, I've been, for the last 12 weeks, really watching my macros, but he, he just doesn't. He just eats, and when he's full, then he stops eating. Because I'd be very messy with big keto. Yeah. My thing is, honestly, like, I could eat. Like, I am somebody that is, I don't care if I'm full, I will keep eating. Really? But, yeah, because oh. I have to be... Hurting? Yeah, if I'm in pain where I really can't, then I can stop. But otherwise, I'll be like, oh, sure, I can I can eat a whole uh, 20 count of wings, no problem. You see me, I'll do it. Yeah, I, I can. Tried. Yeah, I can eat, like, a huge pound or two pound steak. Yeah. And and I'll tap out. Yeah, you'll tap out, and I'm just like, no, I'm gonna, I'm going to finish this. Like it's almost a challenge for me. Like I'm like, no, I can finish my plate. So that's probably you know back being raised like you better finish your plate. They're starving kids in Africa. Like, yeah, give it to them. <laughs> I know, but I was always like, oh, you better finish your right? plate. And then plus, uh, you know, growing up we were so poor, so it was like you know when we had it, it was like. You don't waste food. Right. When you're poor, you don't waste food. You better eat that food or you're being rude and disrespectful if you right. didn't eat. Because Stop that... making stuff I don't like. <laughs> well, my mom always... I, I always enjoyed all of her food. I would always ate all of it up. I was not picky. But she cooked a lot of stuff. You know, like she... I remember... A lot of times on weekends, we would have catfish, fried catfish. Oh, man, remember, she would, forever. well, because it's catfish, but remember, she would use that, um, what was that breading? You get it still, the like the Louisiana fry. It was like a breading. Yeah, it was called a fish fry. I yeah, a fish called. fry, but I think it's by Louisiana. Yeah. She would just buy that and buy the catfish, and that would be our meal. I remember I would eat those catfish nuggets, they were good. And then a lot of times she would make like spaghetti and you know, it, it, she, Hamburger Helper was too rich, so she would make her own Hamburger Helper. Oh, okay. Well, because you could get a bag of pasta and get two or three meals out of it oh, versus true. a hamburger that was one serving for yeah. the family. Yeah, that's true. So she was always doing stuff like that. but So it always stuck with me. It's like, oh, you better eat because you're lucky to have food. And so then growing up, it's hard to break that mental, yeah. like, because I still think, well, what if we don't have food tomorrow? You don't what? want to have food. Oh, I know, I know. But it's always, like, in my mind, and, like, when I see the refrigerator empty and out, I'm like, oh, goodness, we're getting short. Yeah. I do so, get that kind of feeling. Right. I love walking out there, especially the deep freeze, and seeing it stocked. Yeah. Because, Spe- speaking of which, we need to up our, uh, our, uh, list yeah we have a written list of everything we have in all three freezers and we we i found steaks and a package of our homemade bacon the other day we forgot about it yum so i said i had those lily chips and no more since then right Rhonda said it's about a week ago i'll find and send it mm-hmm. a bar and a steak laugh out loud right oh oops I jumped shelly you answered me oh okay thank you Steph said, I had two keto chow protein coffees, then half of that nine ice cream keto chow. Breakfast was three eggs, two bacon. Dinner was the ribs, egg salad with some leftover chicken. I'm good and no guilt for today, right? Yeah, Renee said, it's the clean plate generation. Yes. 
the horrors of the empty plate club, right? Gail said, Shelly, you sound like Rachel. Oh, I wish. She's amazing. Huh. And she said, and Heath is like Joe. Wow. Except I can pronounce chasseries. Chas can you? <laughs> Not <laughs> now. Yeah, obviously. I'm booby trap myself. No, that would be amazing. Well, that is really nice that you even think that we're even in the same room. Uh, yeah, thank you. Steph said, tomorrow will be a protein coffee on way to town and then bunless burgers and cheese and maybe carnivore chocolates for fries for dinner. That's Renee. I like that. Stephanie and her husband are having dates on Saturday. Isn't that adorable? Mm hmm I wish I had dates. You living with a date. <laughs> uh, I told you I'll take you to uh, Fogo tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Renee said her mom liked shake it. Uh, shake and bake. Yes, yes I remember that. Uh, let's see. It's shake and bake, and I helped. <laughs> remember the commercial? Yeah. <laughs> right? Tell That's me I wasn't raised by the TV. <laughs> right? You weren't a latchkey kid at all. <laughs> Renee said, I like to see my fridge and freezer go down bare because it makes me feel accomplished for not wasting or keeping stuff too long. Man. That's a good way of looking at it. You saw how old our ribs were. <laughs> right? A year later. Uh, oh, Cece Mama said, I ate Jenny O turkey patties cooked in ghee. Ooh, with mushrooms and egg salad later with chopped chicken deli meat. Ooh, so that we can do that good. for the turkey. Yeah. Okay. Huh, turkey maybe. patties. That sounds good. Uh, Jim said, hey, the DDPY does charge you right away or after your seven-day trial. Oh. I don't know. You have to talk to the boss. I I think the se it's after the seven days they charge you. Did you do the year-long subscription? Yeah, we did the year-long one, but I think it's after the seven free days. Did which... you buy the heart monitor? No. Did I do all that stuff? We need to return that one, by the way. You never called on it, so now it's passed. Are you sure? We ended up getting our yoga mats off of Amazon. Yes, and uh, it was a little cheaper because he wants like fifty dollars a yoga mat, and I thought, isn't that expensive? But no, actually, yoga mats aren't are kind of expensive. I think ours was like thirty dollars each, and then the heart monitor probably should have went with his. But I was trying to be cheap, and the one I got it starts with an M, so don't buy it. Not. If you do the heart monitor, I don't think you have to do all of that. It's just if you like having the data. Because um, the only thing he focuses on that I don't really care about is the calories. But yeah. that's just because he's still in this, this sad mindset. So. Steph said, Heath, don't make me laugh. It hurts my ribs. I'm, I'm sorry. Shada said, I made shake and bake the other night. Well, sort of. Well, yeah, with your pork, that was good. Gail said, I'm always amazed at how you all know about Shake It Bake. That stuff was around when I was a kid 63 years ago. Oh, wow. Well, I didn't realize. I just remember my stepmom and, and my mom using it all the time. Yeah, Gail, 63 years ago really wasn't that long because, like, I'm 43. You're 44, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're going to be 45 this year. It's all everybody. So it's not that long. Uh, but, well, sometimes when I talk to some kids today, like, you know, when I was at training, they're all like, oh, yeah, I'm only 22. I'm like, well, I feel so, so old with these 22-year-olds working. Um, oh, Shauna said it's after the seventh day. That's good. Um and Stephanie wants to do the year-long one. Shauna said, I didn't buy anything from them. I was thinking about getting the blocks. Well, I got the blocks off Amazon, too. Yeah. And they were cheaper. Ronnie said, I think I just did it. Shauna said, my Fitbit has a heart monitor. Oh, well, that's nice. Oh, and then Steph says, we have a heart monitor on our Fitbit. Oh, oh and yeah. they have yoga mats. Oh, we are all set. I mean, yeah, if you're going to do the chair one, you might want to get the blocks, but you can get... Uh, like, we got a pair of blocks for, I think, $10 or less. So, you can definitely do that. You'll need it for the chair for a few of the exercises. But in the meantime, you could just use... Well, I'm using it still now to stand strong. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. 
There you go. Shada said, I figured if I can't get on the floor yet, I don't need a yoga mat. Well, well it, it helps it up. Well, it helped us because we had wood floors. Yeah. So we didn't have carpet. And so it, and it does really help. Like he didn't want to at first. Well, you really couldn't. But like how the guy's like barefoot and he's like, oh, you got to be barefoot. Put your, dig your toes in. Yeah. It makes a big difference doing it barefoot yes. versus doing it with shoes. Because for the longest, he was having to use shoes because of his MS. My drop foot. But once he got well enough and he, he was like, okay, I'm going to try it without. He's like, wow, it makes a big difference doing it without your shoes on. It really does. Um, it's kind of why they tell you to do it that way. Probably. Shauna said, but I had to lay on the floor last night. My auto bed came unplugged. Ultimate exercise. Lay on the floor and get up. Oh, goodness. That's not fun. Do I just search blocks? I think I put yoga blocks well, in Amazon. Well, you can do. Just run through here in a little while. Run through your past history and just message oh, yeah. her. yeah. You can That's tell true. her the exact ones you bought. Yeah. Uh, Shana said, one time I used my child club box. That's actually the perfect size, the it child really club is. box. That is perfect. <laughs> as long as it doesn't collapse on you. Right? And she has a carpet. Well, you don't really put your weight on it. Or do you now? Sometimes, yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, here at the hotel when I do it, I just, I don't bring the mats. I'm just using the carpet. And I, that's fine. Yeah. But see, when he's doing it, uh, the demonstrations and stuff, you know, the videos you're watching... They do it on wood floors, too. Yeah, with the mats. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Seth said, laying down to do Bronson's the other night was horrid with my ribs. They got worried I wouldn't be able to get up, and Hillary caught me half crying. Yep, I got in trouble. Then Jimmy found out. Aww. Um, yeah, so they, she, the uh, whole, ugh. see, I need more coffee. I was I looked at the Bronson's things and and then after seeing Joe and Rachel do it, I was like, oh goodness. I I've just never been into like intense cardio. I'm more of a um, weight person. Like I really enjoy resistant workout. Like when I did the bands and when I was doing that like almost every day, I would do some band workout. I really enjoyed that. She even took the bands with us on a cruise. Yeah, and on the road trip, and yeah. I would do it, and I enjoyed that because I like feeling strength. Stop? I don't know because I'm lazy, <laughs> and I like I like feeling strength, right? So cardio to me, I don't know, it's just not my thing. I've tried it, you know, because everybody's oh, especially in the '80s, gotta do cardio. What was that? Uh, get physical, oh, physical. God. Remember from the '80s? Y'all remember that? So it was a huge thing, and so when I was a kid, I was always, my mom was always putting me in, you know, these, like, workout classes and stuff, which is just cardio, and I just never cared for it. It never really helped me. I mean, I guess it helped my heart, but it didn't, like, help me physically, and I wished instead I had done, like, more focus on weightlifting because I think that ultimately would have helped me in the long run than wasting three, four days a week trying to run or do Zumba or all that crazy stuff. Me personally. But do what you enjoy doing. That's my preference. And maybe it's because I feel like I can do better with weight training versus just running or doing Zumba or, you know, those different things. Jazzercise. Uh, right? Jazzercise. I remember that. Renee said, Shelly, what day did you originally injure? Wait, wait, injure what day? What did I injure? Did I injure something? I'm, I'm confused. You got to. Yeah, tell me what you mean. Yeah. Expl um, explain yourself. Cece Mama said, I've been enjoying step exercise. Is that like walking or just doing like stair steps? Oh, Steph said, I tried the weights too, but that was a no-go. Yeah, Steph, you gotta, you have to like really watch if, if your ribs are hurt, where you're gonna work for the muscles on that. Ah, Cece Mom said, really come along with my jogging. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, Shauna said, I like my cardio during DDPY. Oh, nice. Rhonda loves cardio. Shauna said, I was not built for jogging or jumping. 
Me neither, Shauna. Uh, oh, and CC Mama likes jogging too. Well, that's awesome. See, you have to find what you love because, um, you know, I know Renee really loves running and she does great at it. And then also Matreya does bicycling. That's what you're for. Me, I guess if I was, it would be swimming. I'd love to swim. So we get you the pool. Oh my goodness. Well, win me the lottery. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Gail said, you know, I remember Jane Fonda. All right. <laughs> right? The tapes. And then what was it? Um, remember Suzanne Summers? No. The Thigh Master? Oh, wow. Yes. That sounds and like then, porno. <laughs> And then uh, Richard Simmons. Oh, wow. I owned several of those. Sweat into the oldies. Wow. <laughs> the deal a meal. I didn't do the deal a meal. I just did the uh, sweat into the oldies. Rhonda said step and elliptical. Oh, okay. Yeah. So on the like the machines, the step machines, elliptical. The elliptical is kind of fun. I like that when you get into a groove with it. It is fun. Rhonda said, forgot biking to indoor and outdoor. Wow. Where do you live, Rhonda? Steph said, I'm ready to be back to normal. I'm sick of this hurry. Right? I bet. Shauna said, I got a three-month Charlie horse from a step machine. Oh, wow. Said he was wrong set up for someone with legs. Wow. Oh, Cece Mom said, it's the portable step that you could go up and down on. Oh, okay. I think that's what Stephanie hurt herself on, right? Shauna said shake weight. Oh, oh yes. Oh wow. I remember my one of my good friends, her dad for her birthday bought her one of those shake weights. And she was like, What are you trying to say, Dad? <laughs> Isn't that awful. Uh oh, Renee said swimming was the worst part of the triathlon. See, I guess I like swimming. Because I, when I was a kid, my mom did put me in her way of training and teaching me how to swim was she made me join the swim team. And that's how I learned to swim. She was like, that's the best way to teach a kid. Because yeah, like, you didn't teach me. You, just, you you're, paid somebody else to do it. Here. Well, it wasn't even, I don't even know if she had to pay. That's even better. Because I was in the subdivision. That's even better. Right? Just drop me off. Uh, Gail Amazing. said... I'm a walk, jog, sprinter with some bands thrown in. Oh, that's awesome, Gail. She said, I have Richard Simmons tapes too, right? I remember, and sometimes when I hear those songs, I then I start doing some of the moves still. <laughs> well, muscle memory. <laughs> right? Uh, Shada said, I was in my 20s before I learned to swim. Oh, wow. No, nope, my mom threw, you know, was like, no, nope, you're sick, you can learn. Now, actually, one of my, uh, because of the swim team, and then my best friend down the street had a pool, so I was always over there every day. Oh, Rhonda lives near New Orleans. Oh, wow. Uh, Moreau, Louisiana. Okay. Oh, wow. He's got family in uh, Louisiana. My, uh, my grandfather used to have, uh, what do you call it, a weekend house or whatever, cabin thing in, in Turkey Creek. Oh, wow. Yeah, I love New Orleans. We love going there all the time. The Hotel Monteleon sends me these emails, and I'm like, oh, oh yeah. that was I'd a pretty love hotel. to go for a weekend. I love going. I love visiting New Orleans. It's so much fun to walk around. And then, of course, no voodoo shops. <laughs> and then what I like, too, is in Louisiana finding all of the fresh cracklings. Yeah. So you remember good. we used to hit up all the places that sold boudin too. Oh yeah. Because like literally when we when we used to do our road trips and stuff, we would plan the whole trip about where we were going to go eat. Yeah, like literally. We would well well no, we're not gonna go to that city. We're gonna take this route because we wanna go eat here. Yeah. We'd watch <laughs> the food network and like all the stuff with Guy Fieri and stuff, all the places yes. we went to. We'd make hit those, a lot of those up. Or especially with the barbecue joints. Uh, Rhonda said, not a swimmer, can only swim underwater. Oh, up the creek if I had to stroke above it. Oh, wow. Wow. So maybe that's the thing. Like, I wonder if that's something. If you're somebody who enjoys walking and running, jogging, if you're, like, if that's, like, a different type of, um, like, part of your brain versus Endorphin. swimming. 
You know what, what I mean? You know what it's called? The endorphin? No, that's what gets you going. Oh, but I'm, I'm saying, well, that like, too. like, if that's what, like, that's, drive. yeah, you know how there's right and left hand, oh, if okay. it's something like that, because, like, I love swimming. I could be in the water all day long and it doesn't bother me. But that, you don't want a pool. I want a pool. I can't afford a pool. There's a huge difference. I'll get you one of those little kiddie pools. I'm a giver. Uh, Gail said, I'm the senior in this group. I did it all. Uh, you're, we're all young here. Uh, oh, Amy said, well, not y'all. 5 a.m. will be here soon. Ooh. I need to get some rest. Looking That's forward to next outside. Friday. All right. Thanks wow. for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. And Shauna said, good night. Oh, she was saying good night to her. Oh, well, she'll actually work with several ladies from Monroe. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, oh! I think Shauna was saying she. Where did where, where is our actual house at? I don't remember now. Mm, no. Uh, won't be so long. It could be on time for the next one. Awesome. Where, where, and was, I think, uh, where was Alexandria? Uh, I want to say it was there. That was where their house was at. Uh, next Friday is the canned chicken, and yeah. I'm gonna oh, attempt oh, making mofongo. Oh, oh yeah, which is a Puerto sure. Rican dish. Oh, Rhonda works in New Orleans. So, uh, uh, Rhonda, do you say it New Orleans Nolans. or Nolans? Nola. Or Nola, right? Yeah, do the locals actually call it that or just us uh, interlopers? Right? But so this, for next Friday night, what I my plan is, I'm going to use the canned chicken and kind of make it around like this little thing here so you can make it either way but it's this so it's gonna it's supposed to be for making edible taco shells i mean uh, taco bowls i mean yeah so i'm gonna form it around here so then after i put it in the air fryer it'll be like a cup kind of like mofongo is made from fried plantains that are usually mashed and then topped with like meat and sauce and stuff so i was going to use the canned chicken and do that around here and then fry it so it gets a little bit of that crispiness that you would get from fried plantains. And then we're going to, I think, do like pork belly. Uh, I, I'm leaning towards pork belly. And oh, what about the beef? But the pork belly. And then we're going to make a really good. We can do a steak on the side and still do, do like a turf and turf. And then do like a green sauce to drizzle Who's all on top. Is? <laughs> no, something better. Um, oh, okay. your tomatilla salsa would work good on that. Well, no, it needs more oil based. All right. Uh, Rhonda said, I'm only 12. Okay, I read that. Okay. Oh, Shauna said, I lived in Alexandria for one and a half years at one point. Wow. Well, how close is that to. Uh oh, uh, Steph said we hit four hours. What about West Monroe? Because I'm trying to think of all these towns we've been through to go see family and stuff. Because every year, we would go spend a week in Turkey Creek, and that's where I learned to hate camping. Because <laughs> they would, they, Dad would bring out this giant tent, and all my, me and my brothers, my cousins, and one of the neighbor kids would have to sleep out there every night. We spent because we well, would load up our van, we'd take a trailer, we'd take all of our bicycles. Skateboards and everything. He'd drive us out there. I don't know where we drove the kind of the skateboard though, because he there was dirt roads. <laughs> but he would take us out there, and we'd spend a, a, like a, a week, week and a half or whatever as our summer vacation. Wow. Oh. See, I think that's awesome because when I grew up, no, I always had to, I always ended up laying on a stick or something, sleeping on it. It was not awesome. Yeah, but see, I I never had a. I've never, ever been to a family reunion because yeah. my family on both sides never did that. Okay. So I never got to do anything like that. And I always thought that was so cool of families that did that. And I was like, well, my family's so dysfunctional. They don't even want to be with each other. Right. You know? <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see. Oh, Rhonda says it's new or leans. Did I say Three that? Three New Orleans. So NOLA is not to be said. 
Right? If we're there, we don't go around with Noah. Right, that's what I was saying. Renee said, longest life ever. All hard goals. Huh. Shauna said, Monroe is about three hours northish and east, I think, from Alexandria. Okay. Oh, okay. Because I haven't been back there since I was a kid, so I don't really remember. Uh, oh. I think, actually, he was in West Monroe. Yeah. That's where oh. we went to that house, yeah. Cece Mama said, it's helping me wind down from work. We're, yeah. we're getting you to sleep. Were that boring? Great. <laughs> no. Renee said, Steph, probably because the point of impact, they don't do both sides unless you had impact on both. Oh, okay. oh they're talking about her ribs. Uh, See what I mean? Um, Renee is so helpful. I know. She's so awesome. Always helping all of our... She should straight up be a doctor. Yes. Uh, Shauna said, my ex-fiance's dad lived in Monroe. Okay. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Renee said, Cajun folks say Nolans. Yeah. Do they, It's always Renee? one word in no. Nolans. No, I thought it was Nolans. <laughs> Don't you got to have the... No, because I've seen it even spelt N-A-W. Yeah, that's L-I-A-N-A. how she spelled it. Yeah, Nolans. Nolans. Yeah. But I thought... Phonetically. But didn't your family, didn't they talk like, like there's mar- marbles? Uh, yeah, marbles in their mouth. Sometimes. And isn't that the one... Well, that's mainly because Papa didn't have any teeth. But wasn't that uh, one of your uncles like didn't like sleeping indoors because he yes. hated AC? Yes, he slept on the front porch. And down in Louisiana, down. living without AC and thinking that AC was too cold at all. Like no, he slept no. on the front porch. No, uh, Uncle Kenneth. Wow, I wish Amazon took back their boxes. I don't, Shauna, because I use mine all the time for my shop. Oh, she's got to work in half an hour. We need to close it down then. Renee said, I got a delivery today with a huge box with three separate overly large boxes inside, and the products are small. Yeah, I do wish they would use smaller boxes because I sell a lot of small stuff, and I'm always like, where's my small box? What is that one little doll that's got the other dolls inside of it? Oh, you know what Russian, I'm talk- yeah, yeah, the Russian That's stacking dolls. That's what she started talking about it. That's what it reminded me of. Renee said, growing up in Pensacola, I knew lots of true Cajuns. Yeah? Yeah. Bottom rinse hit the edge of the steps. They x-ray you point of pain. Oh, Cece Mama said, we visited Nylons a few years ago on Bourbon Street. Yeah, that's a but whole other world. What I loved about New Orleans, New Orleans what the is... What knock on the door? I didn't hear anything. I heard a talk, talk, talk. What I like about it is during the day, like if you're in the French Quarter during the day, it's and then if you go at night, like after 9 p.m., it's two totally different cities. Yeah. Like totally different. Yeah. And to me, I just fascinating to me because I love people watching and then I love going like to the square I think it's Jackson Square correct me if I'm wrong but during the day they'd have all the art up there yeah. and the artists and people you know dressed up where they're doing different art things and it was just really cool and then you go at night and all of a sudden it's the ghost tours it's the psychics it's right. the vampires and I'm just wild to me that the there's not an open container law. There, there is. That's a plan of not. Oh, that you can have. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Or like I was saying earlier with the daiquiris with the tape over it. Yes. So it's just like so cool to me because I'm like, oh, that's so neat. And I think I never did it before because I was like, I can't walk it. But now right? I would enjoy doing a ghost tour there. Yeah, because how many different little tours did we do in this last road trip? I know. And that's why we want to go back and do the um, Grand Canyon. I know. So I would enjoy doing the ghost tour. Has anybody done one? You know, let us know what did you think of the ghost tours in New Orleans. Um, or like that one on that last road trip where we're going through the Evil Knievel thing. Was oh, it the State yeah. River Canyon? Was yes. It? We were going to go walk that and go check it out, but it was too far because we're it too was a fat. Mile. We were too fat and we said no. Because we were even joking that we were going to do a... Oh, uh, wow. uh, a uh, coffee table book. Yeah. Of the of uh, the, the seeing country. the world on the passenger. Yeah, yeah. just taking pictures that way. We didn't oh. get out and go look at stuff. Now we want to go back and redo all that. Rhonda said that's where she's at, the French Quarter near Canal Street. Oh, oh wow. Neat. 
Steph said, I don't think he's one of the... Oh, okay. So how do you stay keto in New Orleans? There's so much good food oh, there that's no. bad for us. How, how do you fight uh, that? Gail said, maybe it's a giant rat tapping at the door. Uh, uh-huh. Ronnie said, well, that's the area I work. Wow. But still, how do you stay keto in that? In that oh my I know, God, there's was, so many good food. The cuisine there is amazing. Because like, any time we would go, it was just like, okay, here are the new places we're going to go eat. Yeah. Well, I guess you just, like we do on trips, hey, we yeah. like this, this, and yeah, this. Do your research better. Yeah. Like, there's so many places. Like we still, that one place with the little croissants or whatever. Um. Oh, you're talking about... Um, not the croissants. No, it's the not. the sugar thing. Donuts, uh, fucking things. Shoot, see, because you brought it up. No, no but there. I've never eaten there. But it's because there's always a line, and we didn't want to mess yeah. with it. Because I ate there, and I was like, yeah, it's just fried donut. Okay. Uh, yeah, I didn't miss nothing then. Yeah, Shauna wants to go. I think. Yeah, she. Oh, no, Steph wants to go on the ghost tour. Let's go, Steph. And um, and oh, Renee said yes. Ghost tours and cemetery tours are a must. Let's all wow. go. Let's have a, a, a keto getaway. Uh, Shauna said, I'm too scared for a ghost tour. They can't get uh, us all. And Rhonda said, sure, come in, girl. It'll be fun. That would be a fun meetup. I'll go to New Orleans and do ghost and cemetery tours. That would be. Where's that one restaurant we went to where they put the crawfish and the shrimp and everything in the uh, omelet? Oh, that was in New Orleans, wasn't it? Yeah, that was that in New Orleans amazing. off of French Quarter. It was like Jimmy's. Jimmy G's? Jimmy G's, I think so. That was amazing. Rhonda said, uh, I'm a very good cook. Don't. Right? Okay. Uh, yeah, how do you stay keto? You know, Steph trying to break four and have a torn intercoastal. Wow. Crawfish bowls and grilled seafood. Oh, my goodness. I love crawfish. Rhonda said, I think the food is overpriced and overrated for people that live here. Right? Yeah, because it's so touristy. Yeah, They that jack makes up sense. the prices. That makes sense. Because my mom that. said she went to the Emeralds restaurant and she was just there cooking for you. Right. And then remember the last place we went that people rave about? Rhonda probably knows. It's like a really... A high end. Is that the one we had to get bait, uh, reservations to and everything? Yeah. And, we're like, Meh. and well, I wanted because I wanted the turtle soup. Yeah, and it started off really good, and then halfway through, like, remember the waitress like she disappeared? Just, yeah, and, I can't remember where that was. Now. Yeah. Oh gosh, I can't remember the name. And we were like, well, was it wasn't worth the animals, money. Was it? No, no, it's been there forever. Oh, because isn't that the one where they have the sister restaurant here in Houston? Is it the same one I was thinking about? Oh, I think so. Brennan's? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's Brennan's there? I think. Uh, Shauna said, I had to leave Louisiana because of a bad relationship and way too many carbs. Probably in many ways. Oh, Renee said beignets. Yes, that's the one we were talking about. I never ate that restaurant, though. Cece Mama said, we did the cemetery tour. And, oh, Renee said, we should do it for my birthday. Perfect time. Can you imagine how busy it would be, Renee, on Halloween? In New Orleans. Right. I mean, it would be a blast, no doubt. If you book it, we'll go. Yeah. Right? So, oh. she'll drive to New Orleans, but she won't drive to Houston. I see. I see where Renee her priorities said, are. Court of Two Sisters is amazing. We went there, and what I liked about that place, we went there for breakfast one day, just walking through. The waitress keep, kept giving Heath all kinds of shit, so I really liked the place. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. The lady kept, and she, oh, and then she got after you for bringing your phone out. Yeah. And you were like, what the hell? I'm paying you to eat here. Why are you giving me our time? Yeah, and I'm the customer, like, damn it. She's like, you're here with your wife. Put your damn phone down. Remember? She was like, that was hilarious. I should have done too, like my brother does. I pull out a wad of cash. Likes like fives and ones, throw it on the table, and every time they screw up, he takes the dollar away. Whatever. And Renee said, I prefer all the dives and Magnolia for breakfast. Didn't we eat there too, didn't we? That sounds familiar. It does. Because uh, uh, we said, love mom and pop restaurants. We're not real big on the corporate places. Ronnie said, no, I mean, the food is not considered that good for people that live here oh. because we could cook better, seriously. Yeah, that makes sense. Wow. Looks like us with the barbecue. Yeah, that's right, with Texas barbecue. $28 a pound, my ass. 
Uh, oh, Renee said, done it on Halloween before. I want to stay in one of those haunted hotels. Me too. I want to find the room. Like, whatever the haunted room is, that's the one I want. When I used to go a lot was when I lived in Pensacola, so not that far. Oh, okay. Our old roommate, Louisiana, said his grandma was a witch. Black magic kind. He always had these mysterious jars of goo. Oh, wow. That's scary. That'd be fun. We went to that voodoo museum, remember? Yeah. There's a couple we went to and they're like, it was just a straight joke. Right. Well, yeah. Of course. I mean, it was something to do. Well, yeah. Well, because what I enjoy about it, okay, if I have the money, I like to stay at the Hotel Monteleon. Yes. And then what we do is we just get up and, and we walk. just start walking. And when we find a place that's Sounds good to eat. We'll eat there. And sometimes what we did last time when we were keto, we'd walk for, you know, an hour or something. We found a little restaurant. We'd go in, have an appetizer and a drink. And then we'd go out walking again. Of course, it's hot as, you know, what? So you're sweating all the time. And then we'd stop a little later on, have some oysters. And then we just, you know, enjoyed taking Yeah, because that's what we did, though. Uh, we were going to book an oyster tour, and we just did it on our own instead. Because when we looked up all the places oh, that we could go to, yeah, we did yeah. it on our own. Oh, it's Renee said, never blow out the candles in the shops. It's, that's a no-no. Well, why would you anyways? That should be rude whether it's a voodoo place or not. Seems like Steph said rude. there's a haunted hotel in Texarkana. No, yeah. I thought Texarkana was haunted. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's also the Texas Chainsaw Massacre area in Texas. Right. There's a oh, there's always supposed haunted. I've stayed at a place before it supposedly was haunted and I'm it was just well, an they old say house. too that the whole United States is basically just an ancient Indian burial ground. Right? And it's haunted. Right. Yeah. We need to call it a night though. It's already ten thirty. Y'all need is to get it some really? sleep. Yeah, relax. It's been so much fun hanging out with y'all. Oh, Rhonda said, I love the street entertainment. Me too. Yeah. But seriously, I could just sit there and watch everybody. It's so entertaining to me. I want to go for Mardi Gras one time, but it's going to be so freaking crazy. Ooh. And probably overpriced, especially if you're going to get a room. Oh, my gosh. Well, you remember uh, John, that friend of ours? Yeah. He would go to whenever they would have, like, the big gay pride stuff. Yeah. And I, parties, they were, oh, like, man. a blast. Yeah. I was like, wow. Uh, okay, Renee said, last comment. She said, my ex thought it would be funny to blow out the candles, and I walked like I didn't know him. I, right? Why is it what a jerk. All right. Uh, she said she won't do Mardi Gras. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, so much for Thank joining us. Every, everyone who made it, that's awesome. Thanks again for following us. Thanks for joining us. Thanks Four for talking. Hours. Y'all are amazing. Thank yes. you all. Yes. Oh, look, you're still alive. Kathy just showed up. Kathy, we're leaving. I'm sorry. Aww. But thank you for joining us. Have a great evening. Have a great weekend. Do me a weekend. favor. Smash that thumbs up. Yes. And leave a comment on the way out. Yes. A good night. Sweet dreams, everybody. Thank you all. Have a good one. Thanks. Kill that thing. Kill it? I'm killing nothing. <laughs> awesome.